you've been. Our Lord is up in this palace today, and you were nowhere to be found. How's that, Umbrella? Excuse me? I went in search of our former's man. You went to Umurala? Are you crazy or something? It is bad enough that my daughter has practically become a part of that caste community. And now my son? Did you people sign a kind of pact to kill me? Dad, listen. That young man. Is that exactly what you think of him? In fact, um, things are not um, particularly uh, what they seem to you, Dad. I, I don't understand. I'll make you understand. First you rubbed it in my face that you went to Umurala. And now you are talking in parables? What in God's name are my children turning into? Dad, um, please. You need to sit. Excuse me? I've asked you to sit, Father, please. Oblige me. Sit. Who are you? Stupid? Listen, I don't care if he's as wealthy as Dangote. I don't care if he rates number one richest man on Forbes. And I certainly do not care if he is the president of America. Because the fact remains that he is a man of Omorala. And nothing will ever make me accept him as my son-in-law. You have not even met this man in request. Are you deaf or you just don't have brains? Do you want me to slap some sense into you? Do you? What part of the cost Umurala man do you not understand? Father, is this about the unknown faceless man that you have been in search of? Oh yes. What is about the faceless young man? And whoever it turns out to be, when I find him, I mean, when I finally find him, he is going to be the one I will choose my daughter for. Uh, even over the president of America. That is, if that president of America is from Omorala. Dad, you know what they say. The devil that you know. Hmm? The devil you know. Dad. Listen, son, I don't care if it turns out to be a cripple, an imbecile, a blind man, a deaf and dumb. I don't care. I will choose him over any man from Umurala, any time, any day. Our former will not accept to marry him. Then she should get ready to remain single, because it will be over my dead body that I become the father-in-law to a man from Umurala. Well, that is by the way. Who is the young girl that you brought to the palace? Oh, that um, young lady who is in trouble ran to me for help that I have decided to help. And you couldn't find out tell? Dad, did you even listen to me? I just told you that a young lady is in trouble. So I took her in to help her. Do you actually believe that a hotel is safer than this palace? Tell me something, son. Are you telling me you are this young lady out of your, your goodness? Or it has something to do with the extra vegan beauty that I saw in her? That's a very mysterious question, Father. That is not a no. Oh, she isn't from Umurala. Dad. Dad. Please. That isn't a no, too. Mm. Honestly, Father, you are beginning to... Please. Please. You know what, son? I have had enough of your children for today. Then I heard a voice shouting, There must be cleansing in the land. 
Afoma, what are you saying? Are you? Listen, you can't say that. How can you say that you're not going to come back home tonight? Oh, of course, that is going to have a fit. What? Uh, Afoma, listen to me. Afoma. What is wrong with this car? Hi. Hey, you. Is this a wrong time? Oh no, it's okay. I mean, I heard your voice and I just came to find out if everything is okay. Everything is fine. By the way, you... <laughs> You look okay yes. guys, that night. <laughs> Thank you. It's pretty nice. Mm. I hope your sister wouldn't mind that wearing her. No. That's the list of our troubles right now. Okay. Would you mind I I sit because I, I couldn't sleep. It's okay. My prince, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for saving my life and your today. That's okay. It's fine. It's nothing actually. That's what prince are for, right? <laughs> saving themselves in distress. <laughs> huh? You're very kind. You're a kind man. And I thank God for bringing you my way. You flatter me. Beauty. I do? Oh yes, you do. Who was that for? Sorry. And I'm sorry. It's just that you are... You are so impossible for any lady to resist. Again, you flatter me. Uh, <laughs> thank you. What was I thinking? Falling in love with her and letting her love me just as much. I should have made use of my senses. I should have considered her background and how much being with me could hurt her in the long run. Now look, what have I done? Instead of giving her a life full of happiness, like I always intended to, I have succeeded in making her face a home for tears. In a bit to be with the one woman I considered the love of my life, I have ended up with the most selfish man on earth. What do I do? How do I write this wrong? I should let her go. But leaving her at this point will even hurt her more than ever. And I'd rather die than bring more tears to her eyes. Dear God in heaven, I love this woman, but if her love for me is hurting her so much, what am I supposed to do? All I want is to wipe these tears forever and make sure they never come back. Obim, I've been observing you from up there. You know you can always confide in me, right? What is it? You've been thinking so much lately. What is it? It is not all the time 
that a man is privileged to be loved by a princess. It is my duty to love you back. How to achieve that is what I've been thinking. You haven't spent more than one night in this house and you've started cooking already? Well, my, my king, I didn't know how to thank you and the prince for bringing me to your home. So I decided to do what I know how to do best. I'm actually a good cook. I see. Well, my king, you know it's breakfast and I don't really know what you would love to eat. So I... I just brought out this. But if you will excuse me, my king, I need to get other dishes. That's okay. She seems like a good girl. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see. You've already started sleeping with her, right? What? You heard me. Dad, come on now. She could hear you. What is written all over your face? What are you talking about, Dad? You're embarrassing me. I just hope you are not making a very big mistake. Dad. 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 Ujana, how dare you? I'm asking you. How dare you? The princess, to the best of my knowledge, was your childhood friend. And I am aware that she is still your friend. Why now will you be the one that will be leading other maidens to go and treat her like a piece of shit? But father... What's the problem? I asked you severally what was happening and you ignored me. I kept asking you for days and you deemed it fit to treat me like a fool. Whereas the princess of our land was busy committing an abomination. And you people felt it was right to cover it up and hide it from the maidens. Well... We found out for ourselves and we decided to do what is right. And what have you done? I can't believe this. Listen, Ushen, I did not raise you up to be a heartless individual who will not actually have compassion for the people. Why did you get this? Why did you learn it from? Neither did you raise me to cover up evil. Father, you've always raised me to be just. So, are you accusing me now of covering evil? <sighs> no, no, is that what you're doing? You know what, Father? Just even having this conversation is pissing me off because it is wasting my time. I have other things. Who's in there? What Can you hear me? So it is you. You are the one that has decided to destroy my family. How dare you step your feet into my palace? How dare you? Your Majesty, I love your daughter. I've loved her for years. I've waited for this moment to come. So I'll stand before you and tell you how much I love your daughter and, and ask for her hand in marriage. Are you done with the rubbish? Get out! Your Majesty, I apologize. I apologize for letting your daughter love me, knowing full well that the love will hurt us at the end. Now, oh, if you don't get out of this palace this minute, I am going to ask the guards to disgracefully throw you out of this palace. Get out! Out! Then I had a voice yes, get out! There must be cleansing in the land. Guards! Guards! Then I had a voice If I ever see you in this palace again, you will know the other side of me. Nonsense! What nonsense? He hates me. He hates me. 
You know, the way he threw me out of his presence, it could be said that he can even kill me. Well, he did not. Huh? Sit. Um, Obiago. I want to believe that you know why my father reacted that way. Obiago, you know the depth of the bad blood that exists between the people of your village, Omorola, and all the members of Umwebe. You know. So my father has a legitimate reason to have done what he did. But I love the princess. I know. And that is why I'm here. To explain these things to you. For the one in the center of all of this is my beloved sister. The one that I love with all of my heart. Hmm? Same here with me. I love your sister and I love her with all my heart. I know. And what you should do is to allow that love grow gradually. Let it spread to all the family members. That way they begin to get to see you for who you are. Don't try to force it. Mm -mm. Don't try to force it by making sudden appearances at the palace. It will backfire. I know my father. Huh? I know how you feel about my sister. But if you follow my guidelines, the both of you will be fine. Hmm? Trust me. <laughs> Relax. It will be fine. Oh, my love for you is very pure. Oh, I might not be perfect, but I love you. Greetings, my king. Greetings. My king, this may not mean anything to a man of your pedigree, but I got you biscuits of loose sugar because I was told you love biscuits of loose sugar. So I got you. Who I told you I love biscuits of loose sugar? My prince. He told me he wants me to know the likes and dislikes of everyone in the, the palace. I see. My king, don't you want to at least take a bite? He also told me about your favorite bottle of wine. So if you want to take this with that, I can actually get it for you, my king. This is actually nice. Thank you. So, can I get you a wine? Thank you. What have you done to my son? I ask you again, what have you done to my son? I beg, I beg your pardon? First. You maneuvered yourself into my son's life. You made him bring you to my palace. And then you threw yourself at him. As if that is not enough. Now you are bringing marriage into the picture. What exactly is your mission in my palace? What is your mission? Your Majesty, this is unfair. Unfair? You see yourself as an object of destruction in my family. That is what is unfair. Your Majesty, but I love your son. Are you talk about love? No, do you know the meaning of love? Now listen to me. This is your useless relationship with my son. As far as I remain the king of this land, it will not work. As long as I preach, it will not work. Now get out of my face. Get out! No, I am I'm not doing this. 
Oriangu, I am not staying in a house where I am not welcomed. Not anymore, Oriangu. Please, I beg you, just, just, just let me go, please. Let me go. I can't let you go. You're not leaving this palace. Not on my watch. I don't care what my father thinks. As a matter of fact, he has no say when it concerns matters of my heart. So you are staying. To what end? I ask you. To what end? As in, I don't want to be an object of discord between a father and a son. Want to do that? You won't be an object. I'll take care of you. I'll protect you. Listen. I have a solution. A lasting solution to this problem. What do you what do, what do you mean? You are going to come with me tomorrow to the courtyard where you and I will get married. Excuse me? Tradition may require my father's consent. But the court will not. They just need witnesses and I have very good friends that I can trust. To witness for the both of us so that you and I can live together as man and wife and be happy. Question now is beauty. Are you willing to be my wife? He is telling her the likes and dislikes of everyone in the palace. What does it mean? Your Majesty, why do you do this? You and I know that I am equally helpless in this matter. You are helpless? Of course. If you are helpless, then I am completely finished. In fact, I am dead and gone because it is my only daughter, the princess, we're talking about here. But this man is supposed to be a man from this kingdom. Why is it so difficult to find? But you are one man that I know that knows the entire history of this kingdom from A to Z. Do you mean to tell me that you cannot help me? My king, both of us know too well that it is very impossible to find somebody who doesn't want to be found. It is true he has been so helpful to this kingdom, doing a lot of good, but he wishes to remain anonymous. So why are you bent on finding him? Is it listen. I am bent on finding him because I am very sure that his presence is going to solve all my problems. How are you sure, Your Majesty? How are you sure? Or is it because of the millions of Naira he pumps into your account? Take a look at our kingdom. We now have good roads. We now have ultra-modern schools. What about the 24 hours light that we are enjoying every day? We now have uninterrupted water supply that is going to almost every household now. You don't need to dig or buy a sumo before water gets to your house. What else do you want? All thanks to this faceless young man. Young man? <laughs> Yet you have not set your eyes on him. Is Adibia, what is funny? Why are you why are you laughing? Are you laughing because you know something that I don't know? Or is it that you know this young man and you wouldn't tell me? Your Majesty, go home. Go home. So you don't make ridicule of yourself. 
Kirikirika na mupo sana ya dielu Miriame finanya Hope you are really loves my sister It's obvious Yet It's a pity For how can love so sweet and so deep be so doomed? I envy them. In as much as their situation is very unfortunate, I envy them. Because they have the one thing that every adult on this planet Praise to have or experience at least once in their lifetime. Oh, how I wish! How I wish I have what they have, but at the same time, I feel sorry for them. My prince, biscuit. My prince, I know you are not in a good mood. And I understand perfectly everything that is that is going on. And that's why I'm here to, to make you happy. What can I do to get you out of this mood? What can I do? Princess of Umwebe, right or wrong? Who are you? Wonderful. I walk into my own very much unmarried nephew's living room, and a strange woman demands to know who I am. And I ask you, who do I look like to you? Answer me! Your father, a beggar, a thief, or a madman? I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to, to... I ask you again! You are the princess of Umwebe. Right or wrong? Right. Hey! So it's true. So it is true. Obiago has really made up his mind not only to publicly ridicule this family, but to kill me. Uncle, Uncle, it's... Will you shut up your mouth? Who is your uncle? Can't you see that you being with my nephew is going to kill him? Can't you see that you are a danger to his life? Uncle, please, it, it, it's... it's... What? Are you deaf? Don't you understand all I have just said? I said you should get the hell out of my nephew's house and never return. Look, I, I, I don't understand. Look, look. I, I said... It's okay. I'll go, I'll go and get my things done. Before I commit another abomination that Umurola will live to regret it. Go home! Go back to your father! Nonsense! 
Stupid girl. Stupid children. I will sit down here and wait for that stupid, naughty, senseless boy. Come home. I am here. Nonsense. Ankara. Idiot. Do not waste time. Pack your things and get the hell out of this place. What are you still doing up there? What's her name again? Princess. Nah, eh. Umaka Highway. Greetings, Your Majesty. Am I safe? What is going on here? Did I hear you say great things? Your Majesty? It is a wonder that you still have some respect for me. And that you still recognize the fact that I am your king. But you know what? Judging from the fact that you bashed into my palace the other day, not minding the fact that I was in the building, you walked straight to the princess and declared her an outcast. Your Majesty, with all due respect, we do recognize the fact you're our king. However, we are not aware you have a daughter. I beg your pardon? You heard her right. My king, which is the reason we all have gathered here to find out what you intend to do about the upcoming festival. As it stands right now, we are only but a few days away from the festival. And yet, we do not know who you have chosen to oversee the ritual. Eze, have you, have you made up your mind yet? I mean, do, do you have anyone in mind? My king, no one has said a word to us, and we all deserve to know. But I have a daughter, and you know it. No, you don't have a daughter, my king. Indeed, you don't have a daughter. You don't. You don't. <sighs> my king, you know we can actually threaten those girls out of this palace, just as the way they came in. All you need to do is just a word and it's done. Are you crazy? No, are you out of your mind? Do you not realize that the millions of this kingdom will certain powers that even I, the king, cannot contain with? They are within their rights. Yes, they are. So if you go in there and do anything against them, you are making a big fool of yourself. Don't you know that? Your Majesty, what took you so long? Your Majesty, I am finally here. Where are they? Right where I left them. They are still there. They are there. But what do I do? Hey, who's in there? Who's in there? What's your problem? I am still your father and I should be able to talk to you. You know what? I want you to ask your friends to go outside and wait. I want to hold a private discussion with you. No, father. Whatever it is you want to discuss with me, I suggest you say it right here. Exactly. And mind you, it better be what we want to hear. I don't get it. You want me to start talking before your friends? Mishana, what is wrong with you? Father, we will not leave this place. So please, don't waste your own time and energy. You know what? I want all of you to go home. Huh? Are you not listening to me? I said all of you should go home. No, no, no. Listen, listen. I understand that you made this of Umwebe with enormous powers. Powers bestowed on you by our ancestors. And it is clear you are aware of that power. And that is why you can come to the palace to intimidate even the king himself. But you need to understand something. That before the ancestors 
bestowed such power on you as maidens of whom were men, that there was an original provision that children must have to obey the elders. And that is the sentiment I am going to appeal to right now. As an elder here, as your father in this kingdom, I am asking all of you, go home. I, 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 are you going to disobey me? But father, why really do you want us to go home? Or are you ready to provide us with the answers we seek? Exactly the point. Yes. Did you say yes? Yeah, I said yes, you heard me. I said all of you should go home. Before the end of business today, I will provide you with the answers you seek. Hmm. Oh no. Are you sure? Are you sure? What kind of sense? What's wrong with you? Listen, this man that is standing here is not just a titled man. Abro Shiftensi Weba. This man is the Ono Wu of this kingdom. Second in command only to the king. And I've given you my word that you should go home and wait for me to provide you with the answers you seek. But Father Uche, I think we should leave. Fine. <laughs> doing here? What have I done again? Are you just coming back? Does that mean you didn't sleep in this palace? And nobody told me about it? Um, Your Majesty, I, she, she, and um, I. I, you, she? Now get out of my sight! Get out! And where do you think you're coming from? Don't question me as if I'm a child. I beg your pardon? Excuse me. Oh. The whole world has gone mad! So how dare you talk to me in that manner? Princess! Princess! You see what I mean? Do you see what I mean? All my children have gone crazy! see what are we going to do now my princess go back to the man you love and be with him who are you my name is beauty and I'm your brother's friend I see princess you know I know you and that's why I'm trying to give you this friendly advice. Just forget about everything. Forget about everyone. Go and be with a man you love. Just like that. You love him, don't you? No tradition can change my love for you. No culture can change the way I love you. Keep pacing that way you are going to find yourself somewhere in our city. Get a grip. Our former is no longer a child. He 
You know, sometimes it takes a woman who's truly in love an entire day to tell her boyfriend that it's over. <laughs> huh? And you really think this whole thing is funny because... I, that, I, that what I actually find funny, Dad. Um, is you thinking that true love has an antidote? True love? Oh yes, true love. Did you see the look? In her former eyes when she admitted to being deeply in love with that young man. Oh well, if you did not, I did. And at that point, it dawned on me that no matter what that man says or does to her, her feelings for him would remain genuine. But you? You have no respect for how she feels. You simply think that you can just wish it away because there's an antidote. That you baffle me sometimes. Now listen to me, son. My daughter is going to come back to this house and when she does, she'll be with the news that she's no longer in love with that young man. That is what I would hear. I'm well, sorry to disappoint you, father. I am still very much in love with him. Your antidote didn't work. No tradition can change my love for you. Oof. I am really, really very sorry, Father. This time I was actually wrong. I actually thought that she was gonna pass the night at this place. No culture can change the way I love you. She's still in love with him. In love. No tradition can change my love for you. Why does it appear as if everything has escalated? Why is it that nothing seems to work? If they stop working, then I have to manage the money I had made over the years. But should I give up? It's not possible. It's not ever possible. There is always that one last one. Hmm. I will always win. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Well, Luciana, I don't have any problem with your your house keeps that you have written here that you're demanding the money for. I am just concerned with the glossaries and food stuff that you have written here. Are you sure that? This list will be enough for us in the next two weeks. Father, as you can see, everything I wrote there is what we'll be needing in the house for a week. <laughs> I am talking of two weeks, and you're saying it for a week. Women, you people know how to <laughs> force money out of men. Father, don't start. Even for their fathers. <laughs> Father, don't start. Well, but I am thinking... Um, you will have to increase the quantity of uh, meat, both the beef and the, um, and the chicken. Huh. I am thinking you will have to buy an extra kg of beef and then uh, add uh, four chicken. Hmm. Extra. Father, it's very expensive nowadays, so, but if you're going to add money... Well, as you know, I am not actually a, a lover of meat. But as you know, you know the kind of visitors we used to have in this house. You never can tell when somebody will come and demand for small offense. I just want us to have enough meat in the house in case. So That's then, it. So then you give me more money? No problem. Just calculate and uh, let me know what the total is. I will send the money into your account. You can withdraw and do what you want to do. Father. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Father, there is something i've been meaning to ask him 
Something like what? It's about the princess. What about the princess? Father, is it really true she's seen a man from Umurola? What did I just hear you say? I'm asking if the princess is indeed seeing a man from Umurola. Hey, how can you possibly ask a thing like that? How? Well, father, it is, it is said she is, and I have to ask you. Uchen. Hmm. Father, this one you don't even want to answer the question. It means it's true. It is very true, father. This is how you behave when things are true and you don't want to talk about them. Will you, will you just shut up and write the total that I told you? Hmm. The princess. Okay, oh. Oh, you're welcome. Please sit. Make yourself comfortable. Oh, this is your house. Oh yes, my God's grace, my house. Ah. Uh. I must say that you have um, done well for yourself. Thank you so much. Sorry, if I may ask, what is the Prince of Umebe doing in Umurola village, especially in my house? Would you pretend not to know why I'm here? Anyway, um, let me go straight to the point. I am in love with your sister. How exactly did you meet my sister? Well, your sister and I have known each other for a very long time. We became friends and fell in love with each other. Mm. We've been friends ever since then. I see. Fast in a banyo, I love it, Siki. Moo in up when you go. Oh, yeah. Yes. No, 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 no. They may not call you about it because they feel you will not be able to do anything. Yes. They are calling me because I am the head of the executive. Listen, we need to meet and decide on what to do. She may be the princess, but she's equally an unmarried maiden of our land. Yes. I've already briefed the others. Let's meet at the junction. I'm on my way already. Okay. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Hello. So what do I owe this August visit? Sit down, princess. Excuse me? Sit down. What am I hearing? What is it? I just heard that uh, my daughter and some maidens of Umwebe Kingdom left the palace in anger. That was why I was calling you on the phone. As we speak, they are with my daughter right now. Your mother is the only one thing comes to mind. How do you mean? They have heard. Heard what? Your Majesty, they have heard of the romance between your daughter and the man of Omorola. The illicit relationship. Even my daughter asked me that same question this morning and I was not able to answer. It is so obvious that the rumor has started to spread. Now the question begging for an answer, Your Majesty, is what are we going to do? And who do you think is responsible for the spread of this rumor? What do you think? How am I supposed to know? Even 
They say our princess is a prostitute, a whore, and a cheap seller with no value for herself. They say she's ready, available, for any man that comes knocking on the door of a womanhood, even if he's an outcast. What is so special about the maidens of Umwebe, they ask. What do they have that is so valuable? Even their princess can stoop as low as giving it to Anusu in a public place. You have broken the crown of the maidens. Afoma, do you realize that the only difference between you and us is the crown on your father's head? Aside that, you're just an ordinary maiden. Do you know that? I do. <laughs> then I believe I'm, I'm within my rights when I put it to you that there's a rumor going round that our princess is dating a man from a cost village, Umurola. Afoma, is that true? Are you seeing a man of Umurola? Are you sleeping with a man of Umurola? Afoma, are you having a clandestine relationship with a man of Umurola? The maidens of Umwebe deserves an answer. Is that true? Answer me! Yes. <gasps> what? what? I'm not a prostitute. Neither am I a cheap whore without values. I'm certainly not cheap. I'm just a woman who fell in love with a decent man. A decent man from Umurola. A man who succeeded in stealing her heart the honorable way. <laughs> it doesn't matter if he's from Umurola. It doesn't matter if he's an outcast. He loves me as much as I love him. And that is all that matters. Your Majesty, I am insisting that we have to go there and put an end to this as men that sit in positions of authority. These maidens are angry. Take my daughter for example. I know how she behaves whenever her temper is running this high. And I am feeling we have to so go there. So what exactly do you want us to go and do there? Beat them up? Arrest them? Or ask them to leave the palace? Can you be realistic for once? You and I may be titled men in this kingdom, but we both know that our powers are limited when it comes to the maidens of Umwebe. I know. Besides, they, they, they could be very angry right now. I said it already. I know that they always have at the back of their mind that my daughter is one of them. Therefore, they will not do her any serious harm. Your Majesty, that is what we are thinking. But based on what we are seeing, the maidens are very angry. They can do, we really need to do You know what? I think I have an idea what we have to do to put an end to this. Okay. I am going to get one of your guards to go and uh, smuggle out one of those maidens for me. I know exactly what I will tell that maiden and all this nonsense will be brought under control. Okay. Then I heard a voice shout uh, how, how did it go? Unfortunately, on your They have left already. Already? What did they do to you? Tell us. What did they say to you? They did nothing to me. But what did they say? They said something to you, Afoma. We saw them. 
out there sitting with you, talking so tough. So what so, did they say? What did they tell you? What did they say to you? Can't you talk? Okay, I'll tell you. You have disgraced not just the royal family, but the maidens of Umuebe as a whole. You have made us a laughing stock before the world. Therefore, on behalf of the maidens of Umuebe as a whole, we excommunicate you. You are no longer part of us, and we no longer know you. A former, you're no longer recognized as a maiden of Umuebe and you're no longer recognized as a princess. Your joy will no longer be a joy. And when you are in sorrow, it will no longer be our duty to comfort you. Since you have decided to align with an outcast, you remain one. You lay with dogs, and you get up with fleas. Goodbye, princess. I sincerely hope we do not have a cost to be in the same place with you ever again. I believe Think. we are done here. Rubbish. Cost princess. You stink. No tradition can change my love for you. That's it. Hey! Your Majesty. This is not good at all. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I know they are going to come after me. They will try to dethrone me. You see what you've brought upon yourself and your family? No, you see what you've caused? I'm sorry, Father. I'm sorry. You are sorry. Well, I am just going to tell them, make them understand that I'm just a father. And that, just like every other father, no matter how hard I have tried to bring up my children, I still don't have the influence over their hearts and whoever they choose to love. You see this madness of yours? It has nothing to do with me. Absolutely nothing. None of it is my fault. And I am and I will remain the king of this land. Nobody, I repeat, nobody can take my birthright away from me. Then I heard a voice shouting, rebels be cleansing in the land. He will. Kiri kiri kana wupo sana. To tell me, what have you just vomited from your mouth, Afoma? Look, Ibide, you need to calm down. It's not what you think. What do you think that I think? Let me tell you what I think. I think that men from Umurola are useless and classless. That's what I think, and that is what I know. You know what? I'm going to rephrase. Have you forgotten that the world see men of Umurola as not only useless, stupid, cowardly, poor, wretched, unproductive and classless. Did you also forget that they are also? Huh? Ay, Bide. That's not fair and you know it. What are you talking about? Are you telling me that an entire clan that is cursed is not also? Huh? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, 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 how did this happen though? on my watch, a former, how did you fall prey to a love charm under my watch? He didn't use love charm on me. He did not? Huh? That it means that that young man must have a very sweet tongue to have gotten my sister, but what worries me? So how you fell for it? Look, Ibidi, I actually opened up to you because I've always seen you as my ally. Which is why I'm going to find that young man and hunt him down and kill him. What? If he does not retrieve your senses from where he kept it, I am going to take his life and hide it where he will never find it. 
Ibide. I am your brother. Your big brother. It is my responsibility to guide and protect you from scumbags who want to distract you. Kili kili kana buku se anayali elu Hawa tika bose inyenefu Kini amere ubudanyo There must be clean tin in the land Ah, Dad. You're back, Dad. Dad, did you hear? I mean, are you aware? Oh, yes, son. I am perfectly aware of what you're about to say. And I have taken care of it. Father, I'm talking about our former. Oh, yes, I know. And I'm telling you it has been taken care of. In fact, any moment from now, the princess will walk in here to tell me that she is no longer in love with that son of a cow. Mm. It's fine then. Then I had a voice out and I saw you last Christmas. I was thinking you were not going to come back again, and I know how hard it is for you to leave work. Oh, my dear. We both know how important and beneficial this festival is. Mm -hmm, of course. How stupid could anyone not attend? <laughs> Christmas has nothing to do with this festival. Mm -hmm. Last year Christmas I was here because I was on leave. But this one, I personally took permission months ago because I wanted to attend this festival. I cannot miss it. No, I can't. Mama, oh, thank God though. Thank God you came back. Your mom was sick and worried. I even wanted to call you to ask you to, know, oh, to, you know, to look for a way to come back. Tell her not to be worried. I'm home. Yeah. Come on, my friend. Look at you. You're you looking so fresh. You are eating all these vegetables in this plate. <laughs> she said I'm looking fresh. This is how you put it in. This is your happy. <laughs> Thank this you. This is my friend. Look at you. I Let's swear. Go Let Wait. Go Don't worry. <laughs> Man, I'm so happy to see you. All right, now carry your bag now. Ah, come, come on, just me. What about other people now? What about uh, Ugoma? Yeah, Every other person? <laughs> hey! Two men. The truth is that I didn't know what was going through their minds. Like I just kept wondering to myself, even until I got home. They kept staring at me as if they've seen a ghost. Until they ran off. Hey! <laughs> Ugo? So this is how you would have been raped by two guys. Not even one. Two! My dear, I thank God for whoever that thought about the festival of the maidens. My sister, same here. Yeah. That festival has been helping us much more than we can explain. I swear. Hey! Well, I, I thought Jeku was really a nice person. Mm. Yeah, I know I brushed him off some time ago, but you don't expect I accept his proposal like that. I did. I, I wouldn't lie. I liked him. But why would he want to rape me? Hey! With two guys. Even with another guy. My sister, you dodged a bullet. No matter how I think about it, there go. You dodged a bullet. So, I now know that loving somebody doesn't mean that you know them well enough. Hmm. Neither does it mean you can trust them. Exactly. That is another thing you should have at the back of your mind. Look at Jeku. Imagine. Behaving like a good person. Yeah. Well, I've learned my lessons. You know? I actually thought about inviting some friends for the ritual festival. Oh, that. Yes. I actually did. You did? Yeah, but not like I was able to convince them. I just kept saying that Christians shouldn't have anything to do with paganism. You know how people can be. I knew they would say that. Which is why I've still not been able to summon the courage and invite the friends I had in mind. I mean, it's not like we ourselves are not Christians. See? People need to understand that being a Christian doesn't mean that you shouldn't partake in some harmless cultural practices or even a traditional ritual. 
my sister, <laughs> I will never understand why they, they always misunderstand it. Exactly. It's not as if we are doing anything bad. Anyway, it's their loss. Exactly my point. That reminds me. Ugo. What is it? I had a very disturbing dream last night about the princess. What happened? I had a dream where the princess made it clear that she will no longer be a part of the ritual festival. <laughs> it's not funny. I don't know why you're laughing. Because it's funny. Because if that has to happen, we have to kill the princess, even ourselves too. Exactly. What nonsense is that? <laughs> but Ugo, what if... I beg, enough of it. Not enough of your dreams now. What are you saying? See, the princess of Umwebe cannot stop the rituals. This has been here for decades. Right from when she was small till when she started crawling. Even up till now that she can speak and talk. Aya, answer me. What can stop her? Ogo, oh I know. But you know the way my dreams are. What if... So you're saying it's not possible? I am not just saying it's not possible. I am saying it will never ever happen. Uchenna, it will not happen. For what now? Stop the rituals. Yeah. It should better not happen. No. Don't even think about it because it's not possible. It's not, don't go there. What are you saying? Your Majesty, it has happened. Your Majesty, finally, finally, it has happened. Now, what exactly are you talking about? I don't understand. What I am saying, Your Majesty, is that all our efforts to have a successful festival of maidens of Umwebe Kingdom has been shattered. What I am saying is that all the money we have spent, all the energy we have started into this planning, every single thing we have done to make sure that a very successful festival will be organized in this kingdom. Everything has been rendered useless, Your Majesty. Now you are beginning to make me to panic. And you know I don't like that. Your Majesty, had it been you were the one who saw what I saw today. Your Majesty, had it been you were the one that witnessed what I witnessed today. You will not just be panicking, Your Majesty. You will actually be weeping. Now, now, now for the last time, what exactly happened? You have not said anything. Your Majesty, it, it, it is about the princess. What? What do you mean the princess? I hope my daughter is not in... Uh, you know, your daughter is not in some kind of trouble. But the problem is that she has put us in trouble. What do you mean? Your Majesty, I former your daughter, the princess, from what has happened, is no longer qualified to lead. In fact, she is no longer qualified to even participate in the festival of maidens of Omwe the Kingdom. Utiya kana festival, festival arasa. Umeodinobi. Now I want you to listen to me keenly. I know there are people in this kingdom, even before I became the king, that are opposed to my leadership. In fact, I know that those are people who are opposed to even my very existence. But I also know that you've been a friend right from the beginning. But what I don't know right now as we speak is whether you have become one of my enemies. But the gods forbid it, Your Majesty. How can you think so? But can you please go ahead and explain to me what you mean about my daughter? Your Majesty, I don't listen to the owners. Is I don't know. It's just like Oh, would you would you stop this nonsense okay, and speak? Okay. I am just I am just I'm running out of patience. It is not as if I cannot say it. As if I cannot just hit the, the nail on the head. I can. I, I, and what exactly do you mean? Yeah, what I, I just want to find out, Your Majesty. That medication that the doctor gave you that you are required to be drinking one every day for your high blood pressure. I just want to find out if you took it today. That is obvious you want me to force those words out of your mouth. I will. I will say it, Your Majesty. Calm down. Come down. What, say, say something! What I am saying, Your Majesty, is that Afoma, your daughter, that 
beautiful daughter of yours that you can do everything for. In fact, I can actually say that you can die for her because I know how you love her. That daughter of yours, your majesty, is no longer qualified for the festival because she has been defied. Beg your pardon? Your, your majesty, the, the princess is having a clandestine affair with a man of Omorola. Umu what? Umorola, your majesty. You mean the cost Umorola? That is the only Umorola we know. That my daughter is dating a man of Umorola. Your majesty, if you say she is dating, you are making you are making a mockery. You are bringing down, you know, the standard of what I saw today. Your daughter was actually sitting in the open. She was kissing the man. So they just motion holding themselves. The way they were going about it, Your Majesty, one can actually argue that the princess of Umuebe Kingdom is actually married to the man of Umurola. But, but how are you so sure that the man you saw there is a man from Umurola? How are you sure? So automatically what my king is telling me is that he, he is not even bothered with the information that the daughter was caught kissing a man in the open. No, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Well, to answer your question, your majesty, immediately I saw the I went into investigation and I started to ask questions. Immediately I saw the princess. You, if I, she was actually sitting right on the cost laps of the cost man of Umarala. Right in the restaurant in the open place, I found out that even the restaurant itself, that the man he was sitting on is not just a man of Umorola, but even the restaurant belongs to his maternal uncle, who is a man of Umorola too. Everything about that meeting, you Your Majesty. Are very sure of this. That my daughter, my own daughter, was kissing a man. Of Umorola. Of Umorola. Of Umorola. Your Majesty, no, they could see a troll in the open. My, my, my own, I will not. Please, I want to give you a call. I don't give you a call. I don't give you a call. I don't give you a call. I am fine. I am fine. I am fine. I am only trying to catch my breath. I am fine. Sorry. Nico, Nico. I am annoyed you there. This is why I was not ready to say it. So you 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 mean my 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 daughter was kissing a, a, a man of whom they has passed kissing. They were actually duvani kushia trolley in the open, Majesty. Even now, well, Your Majesty, I am not saying that somebody sent me this message. I am saying that I saw them. That you begin to make me uncomfortable. Dad. Many years ago, for reasons yet to be determined, grown men, matured men, elderly men of Umurola, men that are old enough and capable of becoming titled men, men that are powerful enough to become kings like me, started dying mysteriously. Now, let me rephrase. Each time they decided to take a huge title, such as an odd Zor title, they die. They die painful, mysterious deaths. Dad... I am not done. When inquiries were made concerning those deaths, it was revealed that men of Umurola committed an abomination and as a result they were cursed once again let me rephrase they are cursed and the man that laid that curse on them died many years ago is there any way to lift that curse certainly no dad i i know where you are headed so with this but i i am still not done now i want you to listen keenly Umurola is a village in Umwebe. As a result of the cause, and the fact too that they end it 
from an abomination they committed many years ago. The people of Umwebe stopped to regard them as a clan. They started seeing them as an outcast, Osu. It therefore means that whoever that is associating with them in any form is regarded as an Osu. Dad, I... Now listen. Now that my daughter is deciding to marry a man of Umurola, a man that can never take any title whatsoever, a man that is under a heavy curse, a man that will only succeed in making her an Osu, I begin to wonder what will become of me as a king and as your father. Would I also be regarded as an Osu? Look, Dad, I, I think... Your look and sound so alarmed, shocked and worried. Does that mean that you are dating a man of Omorola? Do, does that in any way mean that you are deeply involved with a man of Omorola? Your answer should be no. My answer is yes, Dad. Does it mean you don't know about the curse? Dad, I always knew about the curse. And that means you've decided to kill me. No. No, Dad. The gods forbid. Does that mean you'll listen to me and end up things with him? No, Dad. I love him. I'm sorry. We met some years back. And... Ever since then, we've been in love with each other. I can't just end things with him. No tradition can change my love for you. That no please. culture can change the way I love you. One of the advantages or benefits of the Festival of Meetings is that no man can lie to or deceive a maiden of Umwebe. Truth. Another advantage is that no maiden of Umwebe will ever fall victim to a love charm. Yes. That is also true. My daughter has led the rituals of this festival for decades now. That is also true. Why then is her own case different? Your Majesty is speaking parables. I am asking, why is it my own daughter, the very one that has led the festival for so many years, that has suddenly fallen victim to a love sham? How come she is the one that has ended up being deceived by a man? First and foremost, that is impossible. Is it, Gibia? I am telling you that my daughter is deeply in love with the man of Umurola. No, are you, are you really sure of what you are saying? Does it look like I'm joking? No, does it look like I am stupid? What, are you talking about the same Umurola that you and I know? Is there another? Okay. Now, I repeat. First and foremost, it is impossible, very, very impossible, that the princess of Umabe Kingdom can easily be hypnotized by any love charm from anybody. It's not possible. It is also impossible that the maiden of Umabe Kingdom can be deceived by any man. Not when she is involved, in fact, she is leading the festival of the maidens. So, if the princess tells you she is in love, that means she is in love. And that means that the princess is no longer qualified to lead the festival of the maidens. I know as a DBL. That is why I am here. You have to do something. Your Majesty, there is nothing I can do. Absolutely nothing. The only thing I can do is to remind you that the princess can no longer lead the festival of the maidens. And it is within the powers of the king to find another woman to do so. 
the, the, the princess has defied herself. So, appoint another woman to do so, or you wait for another 10 years. And the maidens of this kingdom will never, never forgive you if for any reason you cancel this festival this time. Father. Father, why are you ignoring me? Ujina, what is your problem? I came back to rest. Why can't you just allow me to have that rest? Even then, Father. A simple nod or shake of the head would do. But Father, the festival is just a few days away and no one has said anything to us regarding the preparations. By now we are supposed to have had a meeting with the princess regarding this festival but she is nowhere to be found. She is not back and no one is saying anything. Father, what really is happening? Father! Can I please have some rest, please? Can I? But Father, how can you be resting when all is not well? Ikita yala saganya. Ikita I am sorry, Onye Zenu Mwebe, but I am surprised with this call. My name is Wanzona Gwonere. Am I the one you called? Yes, I prepare love charms, but it's mainly for young people. You need an antidote for love charms? I am surprised what a, will a king will be, will be doing with a love charm. But yes, I can prepare it for you, Onyeze. A man who can build, they can equally destroy. Okay, as I am speaking with you now, I am a new member. But if you permit me, I will go to my shrine and I will get it for you, sir. I am Wanza and I go near. I came before you, the ancient seat of Umebe Kingdom. I have succeeded in making love charms all over the world, except the maidens of Umebe Kingdom. And I gathered that it is because of you the ancient seats of the great Umebe Kingdom. I came to pray for you to permit my love charms to be useful on the maidens of Umebe Kingdom so that the men will also come back to patronize me. The ancient seat of Umebe Kingdom, if you will grant me this prayer, I will kill a cow for you. I pray. I came with Nzu. I came with Nzu, the ancient seat of Ume the Kingdom. Grant me my request.
inside this bottle is the most powerful antidote to a love sham in Igbo land. I want you to drink it. Take it! Dad, it's not going to work. I have been with Obiago for years now and we've been in love ever since. Would you stop spouting rubbish and drink it? Drink it. I'm going to my room to catch some sleep. I don't have time for this. In a heart of all shouting, there must be cleansing in the land. In that case, she has left me with just one option. I will force her to drink what I want her to drink. Why will Eze, Onyeze of Umwebe be asking me for antidote for love shop? Would it be that there is... Look, Dad, I, I think... Your look and sound so alarmed. Shocked and worried. Does that mean that you're dating a man of Omorola? Do, does that in any way mean that you're deeply involved with a man of Omorola? Your answer should be no. My answer is yes, Dad. was exactly where I left her. After I made her take the antidote. Where could she have gone then? My love, there is something I've noticed about you. Okay. Something like what? You are richer than you make people believe. I feel you are hiding your true self-worth from the people. Why? I am just an ordinary farmer. And farmers are not rich people, you know? <laughs> oh, my love. You are not just an ordinary farmer. You are involved in mechanized agriculture. And that is the future. You're already a part of the future and you should be proud. Proud? Oh no, that's not my lifestyle. You know, there is something they say about pride. I hope you know. I am not going to fall into that trap. I like to be me. I just like to live my simple life. <laughs> this is all my fault. This is all happening because I've not found that particular young man that I have been searching for. If I'd found him, the princess would have probably taken a liking to him by now. <sighs> this is one of the reasons I've been searching for him. Pardon me, Father, but... Um... You speak so highly of a man that you have not set your eyes on. You have never seen this man before, Father. What if he's an old man? What if he's some rickety old man 
sitting somewhere and communicating with you, Father. What if he's much older than you are? First of all, from his letters, I can tell you here and now that the person that I have been dealing with is not an old man. He is a young man. Secondly, isn't any rickety old man better an option than a man from Umurala village? What if he's a married man, Father? I'm sure he's not. You speak of a man, Father, which you have never met before. And again, I will accept him any way he comes. It will be better than accepting any man from Umurala. Besides, what if your sister is in Umurala right now as we are talking? Oh, well, we all know that she's there right now as we speak. Then I am pretty sure she is breaking things up with that young man. God. Why? Why, father? What will people say? What if the rumor spreads and everyone gets to hear about it? How would you make us look? Son, I am telling you that it is over. I think we should busy ourselves with putting a call through to our private investigator, asking him how far he has gone and finding a strange man. Because as far as I am concerned, that young man is your sister's husband. That is the only thing I can think to compensate him. Together. So one way or the other, you must tell me what I want to know. Ah. Father, this is not how you raised me. Oh. Father, this is not fair. Father, it's not fair. Why can't you just tell me what I want to know? Ah. Why can't he just... And I'm a Jew, and I'm a Jew, oh, Guinea, come here, oh, put on you. Then I heard a voice shouting, there must be cleansing in the man. Go inside and get my neck beat fast. There must be cleansing in the man. Giddy, giddy, God, I will buzz out. Ugo, for you to come back here means there is something. What is it? Is it still about the princess? A rumor is going around the village that the princess was seen with a man from Omurola village. <laughs> it's not possible. It's not possible, Ugo. It is a lie and you know it. It is unheard of. Exactly my point. You and I know that the princess can never do anything like that. I am not losing sleep over it though. I cannot. But come on. Who in this land has the audacity to start up such a reckless rumor about the princess? It is unheard of. We both know that it's not possible. We know. See, I am not going to lose sleep over this. Because the princess cannot do it. <laughs> hey! Abi, is it possible that our maidens have become so jealous that they will start up a rumor 
just to tarnish the name of their own princess. You will be surprised at the extent people will go just to dent your image. Hey! I think you they've ended up making a fool of themselves. You and I know that the princess can never do anything to disgrace us. At least not at the onset of the festival. Exactly. What would happen if the rumor was to be true? Exactly <laughs> my point. Ogo, the princess has too much class for this rubbish. Exactly. Apart from that, why would she want to sabotage the festival of maidens? Why? My point. No matter how I think about it, she already knows we will kill her if she dares. So why would she? No reason. She won't even dare. No reason at all. Ogo, if I discover the person that started this reckless rumor, Princess with I, a man of Umurola. I couldn't even believe when I heard it. I just had to run down to tell you. They did not say who started the room. I just heard people talking about it. <laughs> we'll find out who started this room. We have to. And they will regret it. Exactly, we have to. The fact that I've continued to come here should tell you something. I love you and I'm not giving up. Why are you talking like a drunk? You are a man from Umarola. You shouldn't be here. We shouldn't be having this conversation. <laughs> because you think I'm an outcast. Well, you have to have a rethink. The princess of your land is busy digging it out to the man of my land. What did you just say? What did you say? <laughs> you heard me right. If the princess can do it, why can't you? Get out. Did you hear what I said? I said you should get out! Get yourself out of here! How dare you insult my princess? How dare you? You had everything I said, right? But I will... <laughs> I wonder what you think you have that is more than that of the princess. <laughs> I blame myself for stopping so low to talk to a woman of your class. Get out. Don't let me lose it. <laughs> And don't you ever, don't you ever step your feet here again. Even rock am the fool, or chichi river and no good and you. And I'm a Jew, and I'm a Jew, or giddy come here, we will put on you. Then I heard a voice shouting. Why are you want to talk to me? Hey, 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 talk to me now. Oh, are you a deaf and dumb? I've been calling you since and you're snubbing me. What's the problem? Is this not the son of Ishii Okoye from Omurola? Why is he speaking to me? Is he not aware that he is an outcast? Hey, wait, you need to stop being a snob. I'm talking to you now. Eh? So you're still seeing me as an outcast when your princess is out there giving out one man in my village. What did you just say? <sighs> so you did talk. I've been talking to you since you snub me. Yes, now. Nah. I'm asking you a question. What did you just say? I believe you heard me right. Yes. In, what is in you that is better than the one in the princess? That she gives it to my cousin anyhow. Anywhere. Come off it now. Nah. I can't take this. Oh, listen. Come on, come on, go. Listen I to me. I cannot take this. Come on, listen to me. You see eh? Going to the palace is not going to solve this problem at all. I am not going to take this. I won't take this. This is rubbish. This is rubbish. This is so unfair. An insult to all of us. Did you know what it means? I am going in there to confront her. Let her look at me in my eyes and tell me that she did not do it. Or oh, yes, she did it. She has to. This is rubbish. I write nonsense. I cannot take it. Oh See, listen, I want the same thing. We are thinking in the same way, but this is not the right way to Then do. how? How would you? How? You want to walk into the palace and confront the king's daughter, for God's sake. Why don't you just calm down and let's think about the best way to go about oh. it. You want me to calm down? Yes. Okay, fine, fine. I am coming down. I'm coming down now. Please tell me. What do you suggest? What is your best way? Now, let me remind you that Umwebe have a group of executive body which you and I belong to. Why don't we call in the others, tell them what's on ground, and then we can think of the best way to approach Princess Afoma. Wow. 
Maybe I don't have patience for that. Yes, because I am going in the right now and this moment to confront her. Let her look at me in my eyes. Let her open her mouth to tell me that she has not disgraced the maidens of Omo by yet. That is what I'm going to do. Mama, come on, come on. If you don't calm down, would you see this thing? Eh? Would you? If you don't calm down, this whole thing is going to blow up on your face. Would you? Just calm down now. Eh? Calm down and listen. Now, if you if you get to that palace, there are guards there. You just want to walk in there and confront her just like that. Ha! This is not the right thing to do. Let's just go home. Eh? Next time. Let's go home. It's not today, please. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, there is something about me that I've never told anyone. But I'm going to tell you. You know why? Why? Because you are the center of my life. And what could that be? Okay. All the money in my account are from the government through the Bank of Agriculture. But you know, I tried to stay away from extravagant kind of life just to avoid being disqualified. Okay. But I hope you know I'm not interested in your money. I just love you and I want to be with you. And I love you too, and will always love you. Anyways, I came with some food items. I want to prepare a delicious meal for my man. I hope you don't mind. A princess like you wants to cook for a farmer. <laughs> Me? Well, I'm already used to it. I enjoy cooking. Anyways, when I'm done cooking, we'll talk about your mechanized agriculture and all the plenty money you have in your account. See you soon. Yo, tradish. <laughs> but, Your Majesty, this is good news. Are, are you insane? I mean, are you out of your mind? How can you say that? On the contrary, my king, I am perfectly sane. I don't think so. My son is planning to marry a complete stranger and you are in support of that? No, you are not sane. Your Majesty, why are you not seeing the brighter side of this development? Oh yes, we have a problem in this kingdom right now. A very big problem. That the princess who happens to be your daughter is not qualified to lead the festival of maiden's ritual. Which is feast. Because of her romance with the man of Omorola. Can't you understand it? And you are supposed to be the person that should be appointing another maiden to replace her. You have not done that. And now the prince, your son, has decided to explore the other option we have. And that is, if the princess is not qualified, and the prince has a fiancé at that particular point in time, that the fiancé will be the one that will lead the ritual. So what, what I'm saying is that you should not be angry. The prince has actually solved the problem by wiping shame from the face of the family by naming that, that girl his wife to be. Yeah, you, you are supposed to be happy, my king. But do you, do you realize that the woman in question is not even a maiden of Umwebe? Yeah, but the prince of Umwebe saw her and used his own mouth to declare her his wife to be. By that declaration alone, my king, that maiden has become a maiden of Umwebe, and she is the one that will lead the festival of maidens ritual. Do you also realize that the prince has known this woman for just a few days? And your majesty, how many lions will a man of Umwebe kill before he is initiated into the prestigious group of Nduyobuago, the killers of lions? He's only one, even if the man kills a sick lion, he's initiated. Does it matter number of days the prince has known this girl? It does not matter. The important thing is that he has named her his wife to be and she's qualified. The question we should be asking is that has he committed any abomination? The answer is no. Are her hands unclean to lead that prayer? The answer is equally no. My king, you have to smile because your son has taken the bull by the horn. He has solved our problem once and for all. 
Eh? Umel Dunobi. Eh, yes, eh. Yes. Do you really listen to yourself talk? Yes, sir. I am very sorry to say this, but the truth is you are insane. Totally and completely insane. That is what you are. Mm, okay, sir. What is this? 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 Uncle, why are you looking at her like that? Hmm? Obi. Yep. Food is ready. Oh. The table is set for you and Uncle. Uncle, come and eat. It's okay. Uncle, let's go and eat. Come on. So she now cooks for you. A woman you have not met your wife in any way. A woman you cannot make your wife in any way lives in your house and she cooks for you. Shame on you. Uncle, please, please, I invited you here for a vital discussion over lunch. Not to come and insult my wife. Your wife? Listen to yourself. Princess, you are going to kill my nephew. You are going to kill my nephew. Go back to your father. Uncle, please, if you don't mind, you can join us over lunch, okay? Please. Babe, please do not put any of his words to heart. Okay, please, it's okay. Come back here. I've not finished with you. So, I am making fool of myself. I sound stupid. Obiago. Uncle, you're not making fun of yourself, but you are making pathetic mockery of yourself. Uncle, let me tell you, you see this woman here? You people should put it to your head. She is not leaving. She is not going anywhere. Okay? So if you don't mind, you can come and eat. So I'm making fool of myself. Okay? Please. Eh? Yeah. Obia, you are going to regret this. If you don't mind, you can join us. You are going to regret this, Obiago. Eh? Look at you. You can join us if you don't mind. First of all, we'll let you into my palace. Fire that person on your way out of the palace. Now get out. That is the door. Your Majesty. Out! Your Majesty, please, we are simply here for, for an apology. That's all. Please forgive us. We are really sorry. Yes, yes my king. Please, be coming, please. Please forgive us. You will leave my daughter in public and arrest her as if that was not enough. You humiliated her and pursued her like a common criminal. How dare you? Now you have the effrontery, the temerity to come and ask for forgiveness? Please forgive us, Your Highness. Please. Please. Your, Your Majesty, we, we are ready to do anything to make up for this. Yes, we are ready to do anything. We are really sorry. Please forgive us. Please. You are ready to do anything? Yes, yes. Anything at all. I didn't say, just say the word. Will you be willing to go to prison? Huh? Are you deaf? I am asking you if you were ready to go to jail for what you have done. I am asking you if you were willing to accept the fact that you are common criminals and you no longer deserve your, your, your freedom. Out! Please, please, we are begging you. Please, forget. get out! So what do we do now? What do we do? What do you think we are going to do? We are finished. Have you seen it? Have you seen what you have caused? This is all on you. Don't you dare put that blame on me. Don't you dare try it. I might have dragged you to the stream. Did I put your face on the water? Did I? Or did I force those tiny hands of yours to beat up the princess? See, there's no need for all these quarrels and blames. Yes, the deed has been done. What's the way forward? Well, we shouldn't have gone after the princess. I mean, she may have committed an abomination and gotten condemned for it. But we should never have followed that condemnation with an act of violence. Mm -hmm. Yes, Ezoku. You are, you are right. Go ahead and blame me. Blame me. 
You are very stupid. Go ahead and blame me. What, what am I supposed to do? I should kill myself. Or was I the only one that beat up the princess? It Why you not going to hit her? What? I was against it, but you what? insisted. Now look at where it has landed us. Tell me. You what is the now? Did you not ask about this? Tell me. Tell me. I will beat this girl up. No, you push quarrel. I will beat this girl up. You push I will beat her up. We have been excommunicated and the king has refused to forgive us. Bam. So way forward. This is all your fault though. This is not my mother's this girl. Or I will slap you. What's wrong with you? Are you, you better, stupid? You better come up with the right solution to get us out of this mess. She's still <laughs> here. We have problem. What? Then I had a voice shouting, rebels be cleansing in the land. Although will you look at me as if you feel that I am joking? Looks like I am married. I don't understand. This woman you married, yes. did you pay her bride price? I married her according to the laws of this country. So in the eye of the law, she's my wife. What is the king saying about this? I don't know. I'm the one who married this woman. I'm the one who will be living with this woman. Do you not think that the opinion of another would not count at a time like this? Your phone has been ringing. Thanks, Will. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, my dear. How are you today? I'm good. Oh, no. This is my wife. Her name is Beauty, as you can see. She's beautiful. <laughs> This is the woman that would give me the peace that I seek. I need to understand something. You really mean to say this happened without the king? The king would not pretend not to have seen this coming. He saw it coming and it has finally happened. Hmm? <laughs> well, I am, I am really happy for you. I wish you the very best. Thank you. You know, he who finds a wife, finds a good thing, as they say. Yes, and obtains favor from the Lord. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> Thank you for your wishes. It's right, sweetheart. Um, let us get the Onowu something to eat and drink. Eh? We are still celebrating. The Onowu cannot be left out. I will. Uh-huh. <laughs> Onowu! If we go there, never want the problem. We base you. The truth is, I don't even know how I feel, whether happy or otherwise. Yes, I mean, how can a whole prince of Umuebe get married in the court in the manner we are reading on the platform? Exactly. The million in question is not even from Mumuebe. I just, I just feel as if something is not right. Uh -huh. No, my father is not around. But when he returns, I will get the true position of things and get back to you. What did you just say to me? No, what exactly are you telling me? That my son just got married in your courthouse and you are just calling to tell me? Damn you! Damn you to hell and back! No, did I call you? No, did I ever call you to inform you that my son was getting married? No. So why do you have to bind my son to a total stranger? Someone that he barely knows. Yes! My son had only known that woman for days. Not weeks, not months. Yes. No, you, now, you listen to me. Listen to me. I am going to do everything within my power to see that that marriage is annulled. No, mark my words. Nonsense. Why? Why, why what? Why did you get married? What? 
Because this whole thing doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> Should have. <laughs> We got married because we were in love, that's, that's why. Uh, I expect you of all people to understand how it feels to really be in love. Huh, Afoma? Well, this calls for celebration. Mm -hmm. Hey, you have to go get us some. Some of those your snacks and a bottle of wine. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. We'll be able. It costs us celebration. Come on now. Yeah. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. That's strange. Quite strange. Just like that. <laughs> Are you sure? Who is she? And how come nobody knows about her? Because she is not even from Umuebe. Mm -hmm. Yes, so. <laughs> Which means we have to sit back and watch a stranger conduct the festival of maiden rituals. Is that it? Is that what you guys are telling me? And that is not possible. It's not acceptable at all. Wait, Uchi, did you did you really see her? When we kiss it for Chatia, does she look like a nice person? Yes, I did. Uh -huh. <laughs> I did take a little glimpse at her, but I did not speak to her. So I cannot even tell whether or not she is a nice person. The worst part is that we haven't been able to come up with a suitable candidate to help us with these rituals. Does it mean that we all are just going to sit back and fold our hands and watch a total stranger lead us in one of the most sacred traditions of our land? I have a feeling that the king is going to move the festival from the due date. He would not there. I am sorry to say this, but Ugoma is correct. It is either we accept this strange maiden, or we risk having the festival of maidens moved. Do you, do you think the king is going to do that? Like, is the king capable of moving the festival of maidens? Of course that is what he is trying to do. If not, what do you make of all this? A strange that. maiden. He will move it. Then I had a voice yes. I am very much capable of doing that. Is it Divya? I am very much capable of moving the festival of maidens from the due date. Because I don't want some nameless maiden lead the festival. Her name is Beauty. And she is your son's wife. She is a stranger. A very cunning and manipulative one at that. I am going to unmask her. But until then, until I find a suitable replacement for my daughter, there will be no festival of meetings. Your Majesty, in accordance with the traditional customs of our land, the festival of meetings must hold every 10 years after the day it was celebrated. No more. No less. Otherwise, the prayers won't work. The rituals will become useless. You don't move the date to another day. Don't do that. There's a Dibia. That is the room. But I am the king now, and I am telling you what is going to happen. Then I had a voice shouting, Remove me, cleansing me. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Mm. He has gone crazy. The King of Umwebe has gone crazy. I 
I have a very bad feeling about this. I have, I have a very strong negative feeling about everything. Hey, come on, you need to be coming down, okay? You should be seeing things from the brighter side. Your brother has given you a relief. A relief? Yes. How? By marrying that woman. That means he has produced someone who will replace you at the festival. That's the point. How can my brother marry a woman he met a few days ago? This is the strangest thing I have ever heard. Wait, Look, I don't even trust this girl in question. So your actual problem is that you're not comfortable with the marriage or you have a problem with the person in question? Only a desperate woman will marry a man she met a few days ago. We don't even know her family. Look, we have no clue about this woman. Something is fishy somewhere. Babe, see, we all know that, okay? Your father is going to be happy. I mean, extremely happy about, about it. <laughs> that means you don't know who my father is. My father will be extremely mad at this whole thing. He will be pissed. I trust him. Then I had a voice out and moves me. Listen, you are an outcast and you have no business in my palace any longer. Uh, Get uh, well, out. Uh, uh, when, uh, your Majesty, on the strength of that statement, I can actually see that uh, you are fine now. 100%. Which is why I want to know what my children are doing in my palace. I don't want to see them. Uh, well, Your Majesty, you have to understand what is going on here. Because of the constant attack you are experiencing, I had a very serious meeting with the elders in council. And we come to the conclusion that going forward, it is not proper for you to be living alone here in the palace. We decided it is either you are living with the prince or you are living with the princess. You understand? But you, 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 you dare and not... That, your, your Majesty, please. Considering the fact that the princess has gotten herself entangled with an outcast, you even said it yourself now. We figured out that the only person who is qualified to be living with you is the prince. And that is why we call the prince and we ask him to come back. He is here in the palace with his wife, my king. And uh, they will continue to live here with you in the palace. You let her go? You asked my woman out of my own house? Your woman? Her house? Yes. It's her house. As long as it's mine. It's hers. You have no right to ask her out of the house. Well, it is done and settled. Sue me. I can do that. I can even do more than that if you were not my uncle. Oh, yeah, uncle. You disappoint me. You disgust me. And you shame me. I do not care, uncle. Since you have the right to ask my woman out of the house. <sighs> uncle, you know what? Leave my house. I beg you. Uncle, don't you understand English? I said, leave my house. I should leave your house. Yes! I should leave your house. Yes, leave my house. Okay. Move me. Are you serious? If you want me to leave your house, you have to move me from here. You carry me out. Oh. Really? Yes, we are. Yeah. You are the only child of my late brother, which automatically makes you my son. I will not leave your house unless you move me. And even if you do, I will keep coming back. But listen, your marriage to that princess is not going to happen. 
Will that be over your dead body? Because I will be glad to see you dead. Did I marry her? Obiago, what did you just say to me now? When you're done enjoying the couch, you can shut the door behind you. Obiago, your wish me dead. You're wishing the only surviving father you have on this planet Earth. Obiago, shame on you. Shame on you, Obiago. I'm not leaving. Akidia Mokani. Is it Dibia? No more. I must have to confide in you as a great man. I am confused. And I am equally certain that even the king himself is confused too. Why is it that each time we struggle to get close, something from nowhere will reverse everything? Why? Ozo made no deal. Obalike didn't do no deal when I tried no deal. The king is just bidding time to himself, just to find a faceless individual and force his daughter to him. Would you believe that getting married to his daughter will severe ties between the princess and the man from Novola? That is it. So where am I in all of this? Should I go ahead and uh, support the king? Or should I decline? Ozo made no be. Ona abona ya baba se nyegye sobia. Nye na boso nyegye na esu. Oko me gwa. Follow your heart. He been rock and the fool. O ti ti bi bara no botanyo. Your majesty in line with the customs and the traditions of this land. In a situation where the princess, at any point in time, is not qualified, for whatever reason, to lead in the festival of maidens, I mean, that all important ritual of our people, if the princess is not qualified, as this princess is not qualified now, it is the duty of the king to appoint another maiden who will go ahead and lead the ritual. When are you going to do that, my king? Of course, I will do that when the time is right and when I find a suitable replacement. Or do you have any in mind already? Your Majesty, by asking me that question, are you technically stalling from your responsibility? Your Majesty, should I understand that to mean that uh, you are hoping that the princess will soon cut off whatever tie she has with the man of whom Rol and be qualified again. Because you and I know that it is not going to happen in a very long time. I hope you have not come here to insult me. Why should I insult my king? It is not in my nature. What I am saying, your majesty, is that the date for the ritual is drawing very close and you have not made a choice. Like I said before, I will get to it when I get to it. What part of it is difficult for you to understand? No, there's no part that is difficult, but what I am saying is that I want to know specifically when you are going to make a choice, my king. Would, would you allow me to do my job? Would you? 
Kirikirika na muko sana Nigelu Miriame Finanya Go in there and call the princess for me. Tell her I want to see her now. I'm sorry, sir, but you have to leave. Oh? Or oh, what? You want to cut me with your machete? My friend, go in there and call the princess for me. Sir, please understand me. I will not touch you. But if they find me here talking to you, I will not only lose my job, but I will also be ostracized. So please, you have to leave. Excuse me. I will not want to touch you. You want to fight me? Huh? Anyway, I don't have anything to talk with you. I can buy you, you know? Whatever. I'll be here to you call the princess as you wish there. Or if you're not going to pick up, at least be nice enough. Nice enough to walk down to the gate and see. Hmm? Excuse me. I saw him at the gate having an argument with some of the guards. It is very clear to me that that young man is adamant on seeing you before he leaves the palace. The advice that you would see. Dad. Does he know? I will not tell him if that's what you're asking. But I cannot promise you that he would not um, know about the commotion going on at the gate right now if you don't handle it. Okay. <laughs> Why are you so nice all of a sudden? I feel sorry for both of you. Thank you. You shouldn't be here. Because you broke up with me. Broke up with you? How? No. Why did you leave your house? My house. I don't get it. Yes. It's your house. I built it for you. And you've never spent one night in that house. Your uncle told me to leave. He has no right to ask you to leave your own house. And you know it. Huh? One thing I don't understand is why you are not picking my calls. You left the house? Does that mean you've left my life? No. You've broken up with me? No, Obim, it's not what you think. I needed to... You needed time to be alone. I should go. If that is what you wanted, you could have said it. One more step closer to him, and he is a dead man. Get out of my palace this minute or you die. Make a choice. Your Majesty, you may kill me, but what's the game? I'm a man who is loyal to you. To hell with your loyalty. Now get this your cost visitor out of my palace, or I will kill him and his blood will be in your hands. Fast! I am losing my patience! I'll call you later. Are you happy now? Why are you always humiliating me? It's not fair. 
This is not fair, Dad. If you don't understand who you are and carry yourself as royalty that must not be tainted by any cost person, I will teach you to learn the art way. His uncle is against him. My father is also against him. I don't know what to do. But I love you. But father, I don't like the sound of what you're saying. No, I don't like it. And what is wrong with what I have just said? Why must you read me in it everything? Ushenna, you are not just the daughter of the Ono, you are equally the leader, the president of the Maidens Union. And I am telling you what you have decided as men that sit in council. Listen, you have to go and liaise with your members and give us a name of a maiden who is going to lead the festival of Maidens ritual that is coming. Or are you telling me personally that there is no maiden in this home who can replace the princess in the, in, in the ritual? What is your problem? What, what, what's your problem? My problem is that there is no time for that. You and the king should have informed us of your new decision before now. Oh, sister, never mama. All the valuable. There is never a time that is too late to do something good. We have just taken the decision. Listen to me. You need to give us a name of somebody who will stand in the place of the princess. Stop making my life miserable by sitting here and agreeing with me. But father, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. It's okay. I don't want to. I don't want to discuss this anymore. Just go and liaise with the members. You are not just the daughter of the Uno. By the grace of God, you have equally become the leader of the maidens of whom we are. Therefore, you should do your job. Sit them down and give us a name of somebody who can do it. If possible, we need that name faster than immediately. Move. I don't understand. You all want the festival to hold. The princess is not qualified, and now we want you to bring your name. It's a problem again. Come on, Mindy. Are you sure this is Aisha route? Who in Umwebe does not know that this is Aisha jogging route every morning? Relax, you will soon see her. Why is she not here now? And speak of the devil. Here she comes. <laughs> hey, 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 come this on, way. Come on, this is match up. Okay, match up. Princess, match up. Sit down here. Mm. No, speak English. Mm. Speak! So, a former, you still consider yourself a free bunny, Umwebe, right? I beg your pardon. Oh, you oh. beg pardon! You still get mouth to the beg pardon! No, eh? You still get the mouth to beg pardon no, after disgracing us and making us a laughing stock! Now, you listen. If you fail to live a life of a princess, we, look at us very well, we will kill you. Yes. 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 Oh, no. Get up. No, this place looks like your palace. Ah! This place looks like your palace. Have you seen it? Have you seen the repercussion of your stupid, senseless action? It's a shame. It's a pity that I told you so. Obiago, I told you so. Uncle, since you walked into my house over 20 minutes now, you've been yelling at me. Yes. It's over 20 minutes now. I've been checking the time. So what have I done this time? You don't know. You have not heard. Oh, I see. You see what? 
the woman you claim to love was humiliated by the entire madness of Umebe today. What? Your so-called princess was humiliated because of you. Because she chose to align herself with an outcast. Because she chose to love you. She was humiliated and chased around like a common thief. All because of you. Then I ask you, do you still think it's worth it? Do you still think you deserve to be called a man? Obia, you're not saying anything. Huh? You've been rock and a fool, but you should be around no good and you. And I'm a Jew, and I'm a Jew. Oh, Giddy, come here, oh, put a no. Then I heard a voice shouting, yeah, You laid your filthy hands on my daughter? My own daughter? How dare you? Now, I swear by the gods, I will send all of you to prison. And then, I will track down every miserable member of your family and send them to prison. After which, I will wait for your next generations yet unborn and send them to prison. The moment they are born. In fact, by the time I am done with you and your miserable family members, every prison here in Nigeria will be filled up with people that are buried your son. Your How dare you? Your Majesty, your Majesty, please. The feelings I am getting simply means that everybody in this community they are supporting what this man is doing. And I am asking you that these are not our problems. They should go home. Oh, get out. Just go home. Not going to happen. Never. Your Majesty, please calm down. They only registered their anger. They didn't kill the princess, did they? Get out of this place. Oh. You know, you love me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is the meaning of this? Your Majesty, with all due respect, I have done the right thing. Calm down. Calm down. I thank God I didn't succeed in catching up with you. At least there's no, there's no physical injury that I can see. You see? This is exactly what I've been telling you. Go and live with your man. Moving with him. Moving with him because, you see this place? It's no longer safe for you. Move in with him. Get pregnant for him. And this is... Lucas will stop. What is this that I just heard? My love, welcome. Are you sure you're fine? Any injuries? Are you hurt? No. Are you okay? This is wrong. You know that, right? This is wrong. I am going to kill those babies. This is wrong. What is what is this? What all why why didn't you call me? So all of this was coming on nobody not even you my love come on i called you your secretary said you're in a meeting that is still not enough what is going on in this community what the ladies now think that they can attack the princess at will no respect for royalty i'm going to deal with this guy bro get a grip on yourself you're not going to kill anybody those girls were angry the ladies of our land are angry I thought I understood them, but I, I just realized I don't. I mean, I didn't even know it was deep to this extent. Go here from me. Their actions will not make me go back on the man I love. I'll just try and accept my fate and be more meticulous about life from now on. Princess, pack your things and go stay with your man. I mean, that's the best option for you. Beauty, yes. Is that even an option? Listen up, I am a princess. There are things I can't imagine, not to talk of doing them. And 
there are things they are not supposed to do to a princess, but they are doing them to you. Oh, listen, what I said might be, might be absurd, but if you do it, it will break them. I'm very honest. Father, I want you to tell me that in police custody, as we speak here, no. Doing so will mean that we are bringing the entire people of Umwebe against this palace. What are you saying? Are you telling me that the people of Umwebe are in support of what happened to my sister? Exactly. That's what we found out today. This is insane, Father. This is insane. What did she ever do? She fell in love with a man that she fancies and she's been persecuted for it? Oh no. This is unacceptable, Father. We'll have to put an end to this. Yes, we will. But that is if we are able to locate that one man that we have been searching for. Yes. He sent me another alert today, by the way. Mm -hmm. 50 million naira. What? Yes. With a text message telling me that the youths of this kingdom are in need of university scholarship. Father, are you sure that you're not dealing with a ritualist here? Exactly what I am thinking. When they put money into that business that you now run with extraordinary profit, were you also thinking of that? When you got your son admission into UK, were you also thinking of that? I hear he still takes care of all his bills, including his feeding and housing. Your Majesty, I understand, but the issue here no, is... No, there is no but. We must find that young man. And when we do, I am going to make him marry your sister, whether she likes it or not. Then I had a voice shouting, rebels be cleansing in the Please, please, sir, please forgive me. I mean, no sense. She, she's the one that planned everything. Nee. Please. Please. If you didn't think of the king before attacking the princess, you should have thought of me. If I attack in my woman, today I'm going to show you that sometimes money speaks louder than power. Hey. hey, listen, there are prisons in Nigeria. No one thinks they exist. You know why? Such prisons are built six feet under the ground. And when you enter there, you will never ever see the daylight again. Of this place. You're dead. And if they die, you lose me. Go home. Thank you. Obin, what is wrong with you? These are people's children. What has come over you? I can't believe she saved us. In my wildest dreams, I never expected that from her. Not after what we did to her today. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I regret everything we did to her. Me too. Did you see the look on that man's face? <laughs> hey! My dear, I thought we were going to die. All thanks to the princess. A man like that, outcast or not, he should be feared. 
to be frank with you, I'm really regretting everything. I, I can't believe the princess is this nice. She's so kind-hearted. After all we did to her, she, she, she still has the mind to save us. I think we owe her an apology. Me especially, I need to apologize to that lady. She's a nice person. Wait, why did I beat her in the first? Why did I even regret him? My prince. My prince, seriously, you really need to stop disturbing yourself. She will be fine. She will, please. Listen, I understand how she feels. I mean, I get it. But running off to go be with him after all that has just happened... is senseless. Very senseless. <laughs> My prince, I know. But what would you have had me do? If reverse was the case, since you saved me from those uncles of mine, you've not allowed me out of this palace. And I'm not allowing you out of this palace. And I'm not going to allow you out of this palace until I apprehend all those wicked uncles of yours. That's protection. Hmm. My prince, you really sound like a man in love. Mm. I do. Of course you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> you do. You know, if you had succeeded in harming those girls, my love for you would have gone cold. My love, they humiliated you. They embarrassed you. Made you a laughing stock. You are my woman. How do you expect me to feel about that? Obi, I understand how you feel. I totally do. But two wrongs cannot make you right. If this your anger is your punishment to me for letting them go, then so be it. But, in the deepest part of your heart, you know I did the right thing. My love. Calm down. Okay? Calm down. You've been through a lot today, haven't you? Oh, I am sorry I allowed my anger to blindfold me. Come on, let's go upstairs. I have something to show you. Shall we? My, my president, we didn't actually beat her up the way it's being circulated. We already ask her to sit at a place so we can teach her a lesson, right? True. That, that, that's all. And in your little mind, you don't know that it is insulting, very humiliating for commoners like you to ask the princess to sit at a place in an open environment. <laughs> and it was also reported that you girls gave the princess knocks on her head. Knocks? Uh-uh. How dare you rest your filthy hands on the princess? Have you no respect? No, huh? no, nothing like that. I, I, I didn't give her any knock. I, we didn't even we do like... Huh? But we actually did. Oh. <laughs> Hi! We're very sorry. That was part of the lessons we wanted to teach her. Will you shut your dirty mouth? What do you know about lessons? Who are you to teach the princess a lesson? Who gave you the gods? The nerves! The audacity to harass a princess. A whole princess! Indeed, we have all been angry with her because of what she did. But what you've done to her is extreme. It is wrong. It is insensitive and stupid. Who sent you? Who gave you the approval to do what you did? Did you take permission from any of us? I'm asking you. No. No, hmm. no take a good look at yourselves and us. 
We are ladies, not animals. We do not go about harassing people. Be it criminals or offenders. Imagine you girls even cause riots. What if those angry villagers made their way to the palace? And at the process, the king got hurt. I wonder where we all will be by now. <laughs> you have disgraced our image as maidens of Umwebe. But then I will be graceful by giving you the chance to go back to the palace and repair the damage you have caused. Yes. And failure to do so, you will no longer be seen as maidens of Umwebe. What? Wow. Oh, you heard that right. Wow. And should the king not accept your apology, you will not partake in the festival of the maidens. Did you hear me? Ah, wow. ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. my president. Temple justice with mercy. Mm -hmm. It has not got into this. Eh? What you're doing, it, it's not fair, and you, and you know it. We weren't the ones who asked her to shamelessly give her body to an outcast. You should not be punished for doing the right thing. What the hell do you mean by doing the right thing? What do you know about doing the right thing? <laughs> you know, the fact you're even attempting to explain why you did this abomination. The fact you had the audacity to still explain why you did it is getting me more angry. Please, do not get me agitated. You all know how I get when you agitate me. Listen, you will go back to the palace and apologize to the king for as long as it takes to correct the damage you have caused. And that is an instruction. It is not a negotiation. And failure to do so, you will cease to be seen as maidens of Umuebe for good. What? Wow. Get out. Yes! Are you insane? What do you mean you are going to marry her? I love a woman. I, I want to marry her. Why is that difficult for you to understand that? You have not known this woman up to a month. So what, Dad? When you met Mom, was it not love at first sight? It was. But then I got closer to her. I took the time to make friends with her and proceeded to cut her for one year. But in your own case, you just know beauty. A matter of days. Well, that's because I'm not the kind of man that would take a whole year to be about the bush instead of knowing what he wants and going straight for it. How dare you? How dare you make mockery of the memory I shared with your mother? How dare you? How get out of my sight? Uh, get out! Dad, I have not made mockery of the beautiful memory you have of my mom. I'm just trying to let you know that we are two different kinds of men. Whether you agree or not, Father, I am going to marry beauty. Sooner than you think. Is someone walking against me? I might not be perfect, but I love you. Have my children decided to go mad on me because they are under the influence of some evil forces? Oh my love. Why is this happening to me? It is either you return this woman to wherever you brought her from, or forget this house. Father, I cannot leave this house. This house also belongs to me. I'm the crown prince of all my men. So if anyone would have to leave, it just might be you. I stop referring to her as this woman. She is my wife, father. 
I dare you to take the next step. And as far as I am concerned, this lady here is not a wife. She's not. She's a wife. Father, I love my wife. I love the bond that we share. But as far as this woman is in your arms, forget the fact that you belong here. You no longer belong here. Father, is that a threat? You heard me, son. You heard me there, Crown Prince. So it is either you take this woman far away from here to somewhere that is not my house, or you decide to stay here and continue your marriage in the police cell. But whichever way it goes, you are not sleeping this house this night. Oh, my love, for you is very pure. My prince. I might not be perfect. My prince, what are we going to do now? But I love you. In all honesty, if you don't, you are confusing me. You are not just the crown prince of Omwe, the kingdom. You are the coming king of this land. And it's expected that at all times, you should be able to rise above all situations. Why are you talking as if all the whole hell has been let loose? What's the problem? Oh no. It is a good thing that you are here today. I'd like to inform you that I have resigned. My position as a crown prince of Omaibe. I will no longer be referred to as the incoming king of Omaibe. How is that possible? You know, how is it possible for the crown prince of a kingdom to resign? You should be speaking with your friend, you know. You need to understand that I'm a grown man. I have my life to live, my decisions to make, my privacy, I value a lot. I don't understand. Your friend had the guts to threaten to throw me out of the palace because I made the decision of a life partner. Oh no, for daring to issue that threat. I am not only resigning, but I'm also leaving the palace. But you know it yourself that you cannot leave. You are the coming king of whom we have a kingdom, and you I'm are nothing. Oh no. I have made my decision, and I must be obeyed. And regrettably, I'm not going to listen to anyone on this matter. You are here now. You are hearing directly from me. Pass this information across to other members of the Royal Council. Have a good day, no? Then I had a voice shouting, rebels be cleansing in the land. This is unprecedented in our history. How can he resign? Anako de Akako. Your Majesty, with all due respect, this is insane. Yes, you may be feeling this way because there is nobody who will summon the courage to talk to you. Everybody is a friend of you to tell you the truth, but I am not. You there sit before a revered king like me and tell me to my face that I am insane? How dare you? Now, between you and I, who is looking more insane? Is it you or my very sound? Your Majesty, I am not insane because my family is very much intact. Look at you. Why are you allowing an outsider to come between you and your children? The relationship you have with your family, with your children, an outsider is tearing it apart. And you are telling me that you are still sane? And I could have an outsider. Yes, my king. How do you mean? Look at it this way. Your daughter. Where is she now? You are having issues with your daughter because you have failed to sanction her choice of a life partner. 
She is not living in the palace as we speak. I don't think now we have not done anything about it. And look at your son. He has made another choice also, and you are kicking against it equally. Look at your family completely in disarray, and you are calling me insane. Your Majesty, you may be the king of my land. In fact, you are my friend. And that is the reason I am going to tell you to your face right here and right now that what you are doing is wrong. In fact, you are making a huge mistake. And I am telling you right back that I don't care whatever you think. Your Majesty, what is it? What, what, what was it? Someone slapped me. Where? Did you see what it was? How? I, I, I think it's a ghost. Ah! It goes weird. Ah! What's the problem? Why are you scaring me? Listen, Prince Ibidoko, you have to come down and listen to me. This is not time for you to be pursuing that revenge objective. Your father just suffered a very strange illness. And you have to understand that this is a trying moment for all of us in this kingdom. Listen, I want you to come back to the palace. In my capacity as the second in command to the king, I am giving you that instruction right now. Come back to the palace. In fact, you can come back with your wife. I have already given instruction. Every other thing is relaxed now. You can come back. They will allow you to come back. I need you here. Then I had a voice shouting, rebels be cleansing in the land. Call the me. Kiri kiri kana mupo sana ya dielu, midame finaya. Hello, princess. Kiri kiri kana mupo sana ya dielu, midame finaya. Hey, come on. Let me go, please. Why am I sure that it's not a trap? Huh? He said it's a strange illness, but... No concrete message yet. Obi, we're talking about my father here. I know, and you're also my priority. So I'll not allow anything to happen to you. I have to go. Babe, come on, come on, come on. See, the last time I checked, that song wasn't safe for you. Okay? And I'm sorry to say this, your father, I mean, I don't think he wants you there. I'm going. Okay, okay. You'll go, but with the security I've arranged. Okay, no problem. But not with those men you sent to abduct those girls. Those I don't like the look on their faces. Babe, those men are highly licensed security officers. You, you, you know me, I don't just dumble into shitty things. They kidnapped some girls. Yes, because those girls harassed my girl. Or are you telling me that if the case is being reversed, that you're not going to do the same? Fine. You win. I'm leaving. Okay, you will, but... with the security I've arranged. No tradition can change my love for you. No culture can change the way I love you. What happened? I can see you awake. Father, are you alright? What is she doing here? Can you please tell her to leave this room? Dad, I'm here. Are you alright? What? What are you doing here? Get out. I don't want to see you. Get out. Ah, okay. Dad, I can see that you're fine. I said get... Can you please take them out of here? But that is not fair. We came because we are worried. Come on. Does it look like I care? Listen, you are an outcast and you have no business in my palace any longer. Uh, Get uh, well, out. Uh, well, uh, your Majesty, on the strength of that statement, I can actually see that uh, you are fine now. 
hundred percent. Which is why I want to know what my children are doing in my palace. I don't want to see them. Uh, well, your majesty, you have to understand what is going on here. Because of the constant attack you are experiencing, I had a very serious meeting with the elders in council. And we came to the conclusion that going forward, it is not proper for you to be living alone here in the palace. We decided it is either you are living with the prince or you are living with the princess. You understand? You, 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 you dare and not... Uh, your, your Majesty, please. Considering the fact that the princess has gotten herself entangled with an outcast, you even said it yourself now. We figured out that the only person who is qualified to be living with you is the prince. And that is why we call the prince and we ask him to come back. He is here in the palace with his wife, my king, and uh, they will continue to live here with you in the palace. <laughs> Mm. Something good smells here. I can already. Uh, I pray you like it. Of course I love it. Okay. The aroma is already very promising. Can I take a pen? Don't. I just can't wait. You need to wait for father. Of course I know we'll have to wait for the king to get here. Ah, this coming from you. <laughs> Then I heard a voice shouting, rebels be cleansing in the land. Kiri kiri kana buko sana ya dielu, mira me finanya, alu ere na banyo. Kiri kiri kana buko sana ya dielu, mawa tika wale. Relax. Okay. Obiago. Obiago, my son, where are you? I have arrived with something very fresh. Something you cannot resist. Uh, my uncle. My uncle. If you're here for any kind of trouble, please. I have to tell you that I'm not in the mood for that. Obiago. Are you saying I'm a troublemaker? Huh? Nah, look at him now. Okay. Like I said before, I am not in the mood for this. Please. <laughs> Obiago, I'm not here for any kind of trouble. I have actually come in peace. Hmm? What? You heard me. I heard what the king did to the son yesterday. That led me to the conclusion that that man is not a good man. I I feel so sorry for the princess. I feel sorry for everything I did to her. And I have come to apologize. Oh. Is she in? What? Obiago, oh, why are you? Suddenly acting like a person who do, does not understand the English language. Okay, she's not around. She went to the market. She says she wants to restock the house. Your wife went to the market despite the fact she's the princess and she bought us to clean the house. Cook. She must be a good woman. My son. Well, yeah. Thank you. Well, I am actually here for us to put heads together to find a solution on how to pay her bright price. And um, I want us to 
discuss it over this cake of pan wine. It is fresh from free, freshly tapped. Mm. Mm. This is really good pan wine. Very good. Yes, it is. Really good. <laughs> mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. Nice drink. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> now I feel hungry. Did your wife prepare anything today? I um, really would love to have some. Please. Oh, Uncle, um, like I told you before, she went to the market to get some things. You know, she wants to restock the whole house. Yes. yes, but let me see what I can do. Please. Yes, I'm coming. expert at making people fall in love and they also say you are an expert at making people fall out of love this is why I'm here I want you to make some people fall out of love I see so how much is it gonna cost me because I'm ready for it Are you absolutely sure that this love is meant to be? Are you sure that their love is not genuine? Because that is the only way my package can work. Wise one. These people I speak about belong to separate world. I don't know how their path came to cross in the first place. All right then. All you have to do is to put the substance that I gave to you in any of your drinks. Then the rest will be history. Um, oh. Uncle? Mm -hmm. I couldn't find anything edible for you to take, just biscuit and sugar milk. I don't know, I know, you know, I know you wouldn't like it. Okay, don't worry about it. I <clears throat> let's continue with our drink. I I believe by the time we run down this cake, hunger would have disappeared. <laughs> well, you don't expect me to finish this full keg of pan wine early this morning. Don't worry, I'll be glad to finish it for you. <laughs> ah. <clears throat> so, what about your marriage to the princess? <clears throat> Are you still <clears throat> want to go on with it? I... <sighs> what is it? Oh my god. Mm. Oh, my head. What? What is it? I'm fine. I'm fine. Hey. Uh, I'm feeling too good. You're not <coughs> feeling too good about the marriage? Or what? I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh -uh. Obiago. Obiago! 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 What have I done? Obiago! Oh, I'm here. 
aku. This is not what I planned. Oh, oh, Biago. Oh, my God. Oh. What have I done? Oh, Biago. Oh, Biago. Hey. What have I done? What have I done? Oh. What have I done? Oh. You killed him. I beg your pardon. All I wanted was to destroy his love for that girl. And you killed him. What have I done to deserve this? What kind of a fraud are you? I beg your pardon again. Don't even pretend as if you don't know what I'm talking about. I asked for an antelope portion and you gave me a tap, yap, yap. I'm holding you responsible for that. You killed my nephew and you're going to pay. Leave my shrine. What do you say now? I said, get her hair out of my shrine. Are you want me to push you? I am not going anywhere. I am holding you responsible. And you are going to pay. Do you want me to make you leave? Make me! Do you want to make use of this, your tiny legs? Or should I call the power? What the hell? Move me! I know why this is happening. I know why! I know! Strange forces are now slapping the king. Strange forces are finally slapping the king because he decided to do his own bidding instead of that of the gods. I will wait. I will wait. Until he rediscovers himself. He has to rediscover himself. Then he will know that a king cannot function without his ancestors. I killed him. I killed him all. I killed my nephew, Obiago. I wanted to end his relationship with the princess. And instead, I brought his life to an end. Please help me. Help me, Ezedibia. I, I wanted to sabotage the whole thing and hopefully bring them back to their senses. Now he's dead. Help me. Peace. <laughs> Your Majesty, Your Majesty, it has happened. What is it? What has happened? Good news. What good news? Obiago is dead. I beg your pardon? Who is Obiago, by the way? The same Obiago you know. The same one who disqualified the princess from leading the festival of maiden rituals. The same one who made the princess an outcast. Your Majesty, he is dead. <laughs> dead as in he is no longer breathing? Your Majesty, he is dead as in he is already prepared for burial. Wow. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> uh, by the way, where is my daughter? Where is the princess? Why oh, did I just hear? Ah, my princess, you're welcome. Ubiago is dead. What? <laughs> yeah. Are you laughing? You find it funny? Dad? Are the both of you happy about this, Dad? Can you not see what is going on here, Father? What makes you think that the princess will be able to function in any capacity at all after what has just happened, much less? Be a part of the festival of medicine's rituals. Father, come on! Think! Dad! Where's my sister? Has anyone seen or heard of her? Aforma! Aforma! Why is your son not inside me? Don't, don't, don't mind him. So he's going to be buried today, right? Oh, like a blood, like a blood, now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like a... <laughs> what exactly are you telling me? I am sure you heard me. The princess's lover is dead. What? His uncle was screaming it along the road. He was calling for help, but nobody was willing to help him. 
Are you sure of what you are telling me? Unless the uncle was joking. But his uncle will not joke with something as serious as death. If what you are telling me is true, it will have a devastating effect on the princess. But don't you think it's good for us? Nothing yet. This is exactly what I don't understand why she's not taking her calls. You know, I still wonder this death of Obiago, how true it is. What are you saying? Well, nothing. But it's just, it's just strange how, how, how he would just die like that. And I, I, I don't believe it. He's not dead. He's not dead. I, I can't believe it. I can't. Are you saying that Obiago is beyond death? Are you suggesting that he would live forever? You know what? This is not working. I'll have to go look for a former myself. Uh, I'll let you know how it goes. Be careful. Even rock am the fool, or teach you we were a no put And I'm a Jew, a Jew, or Guinea Camera, or Putano. Then I heard a voice shouting, there must be cleansing in the land. Then I heard a voice shouting, there must be cleansing in the land. Guinea Camera, a book of Where's my sister? I didn't do anything. I don't even know where she is. What have you done with my sister? I did not do anything with your sister. Do not lie to me. Do not lie to me. I'm going to make this very simple. I ask questions, you tell me the truth. Where have you kept my sister? I don't know where she is. I didn't do anything. I see that you have chosen to lie. I have done you the honors, Equime. The car is open. Get in this car right now. Are you... Kidnapping me or me. Do not make me apply force. You will not like it. Get in the car. Uh, I know I didn't do anything. I don't know where you're taking me to. But... Even rock am the fool But Chichi Ri Warano Putanyo And I'm a Jew and I'm a Jew Oh, Guinea Camera, oh, Putano. Then I heard a voice shouting, There must be cleansing in the land. Then I heard a voice shouting, There must be cleansing in the 
a ghost. It's a ghost. The princess decided to die with him. And their ghost has stayed in our doors. It's a ghost. It's a... wanted to kill me. Ah! So you had wanted to kill me. It's a ghost. Princess, come out. It's a ghost. It's a ghost. Hey! It's a ghost. It's a ghost. Look at you, in a bid to destroy two hearts that are joined together by fate. You have turned yourself into a madman. It can be possible. I saw him. I saw him die. He fell right in front of me. He was no longer breathing when I checked. Come on, look. your mind about going out. You've been drinking. Obim. Obim. Obim, who have you been drinking with? Obim. Obim, your body is cold. Obim. Obim. Obim, Obim, wake up. Obim, wake up. Obim, don't do this to me. Obim. Obim, Obim, please don't allow any mistake you away from me. God, please do something. Obim, 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 wake up. Wake up, please. Obim, Obim, don't do this to me now. Our love story should end, Obim. Obim, wake up, Obim. 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 God, please. Please don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, Obim. Obim, wake up. Obim. 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 God, please. Is to be a bit. Obi, Obi, you're awake. Oh. Thank you. What happened to you? You're confusing me. What happened to you? I thought you said that their love is not genuine. That it's not meant to be. This is like magic. Leave my shrine. Leave my shrine before I break your neck. Okay, I'll go. Then I heard a voice shouting, devils be cleansing in the land. Then I heard a voice shouting, devils be cleansing in the land. Kiri kiri kana bupa sana ya dielu miriame fina ya. She saved my life. I didn't save your life. Our Chi simply decided your time was still very much far away. Fate did not sanction your death to happen today. Well.
Well, um, Obiago, we're still thankful for your life, regardless. If you want to arrest me, go ahead. I am willing to go to prison. Obiaku, you are the only son of my late brother, which makes you my son. Which is why I was always afraid that your union with the princess would destroy you. I tried to sabotage the whole thing to save you. What you poisoned my wine? No. It wasn't poison. It was an antelope potion to stop you from loving the princess. I never wanted you to die. You almost killed me. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'll make it up. I'll make it up to you by doing everything in my power from this moment to see you and Princess marry. I try to break you too. And I almost killed you. But now, I will make it my life purpose to bring two of you together and forever. The universe has decided to solve all my problems for me. You know, you know, honestly, Your Majesty, I still can't believe this. All I need to do now is to play the good father and patiently wait for my daughter to grieve and get over that pastor. Very strange. Ah, oh, you? It is you. <laughs> the man, that anonymous son of the soil, the one that has been sending all those anonymous alerts. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, yes. Uh, 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 listen, I have been searching for you. The people of this kingdom want to see you. Please, I want to see you. You are a son of this kingdom. So why don't you want people to know about you? Why? Oh, 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 okay, thank you. But you still haven't answered my question. Cut of the color what? Yes, he cut the call on me. How can a human being be so mysterious? I'm extremely enigmatic. I can equally add that. And come to think that I was trying to give the princess to him on a platter of gold. Well, especially now that uh, Obiago is dead. I think uh, the princess is single once again, right? Oh, no, she's not single. I beg your pardon? Our former is not single because Obiago is very much alive. What did you just... Oh yes, as we speak, they are making plans to get married. 
And they are determined, more than ever, to make it happen. No tradition can change my love for you. No culture can change the way I love you. All I know is that Umurola is under a curse because years ago, our men committed a huge abomination. So I was only a baby when it all happened. So I cannot be of much help in that area. But Uncle, there is a possibility that we can still find someone, somewhere, who is capable of providing us with the answer we need. Right? Uncle, your current attitude is beginning to piss me off. You promised to help me. Or have you suddenly changed your mind? No, 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 no. no. It's just that I know of only one person. At least he was a bit older than me when it all happened. So he, he witnessed everything. So, that was still doing here then? Of course I am not seeing a ghost. A ghost? Oh, I forgot. When I came here yesterday, I told you I killed him. I was making a mistake. He did not die. He's alive. Y your nephew? Of course. Did you think he's someone else? When I was a little boy, years ago, a man from Umurola came to take the Ozo title. The title was conferred upon him. His people rose against him out of jealousy, wickedness. Then they took his Ugwagrega and destroyed it. The man out of anger pronounced a word that since they don't have a respect for Ozo, none of them will ever take the title. He died immediately after the pronouncement. So they, that's the reason. If any man from Umurola ever declares to be an Ozo, dies before the day of initiation, not just an Ozo. Anything that has to do with chieftaincy title. Whoever that dreams of having it will die a day before the coronation. <clears throat> Let me guess. Many casualties are called. Which is why the people of Morola came together and declared that no one should ever decide to take the chieftaincy title or be an Ozo again. Exactly. And that is why no man from Umurola will get married to the princess. Because by virtue of the marriage, the man automatically becomes an also title holder. And anyone that dares to take that step... It will result to my death? Exactly. The gods forbid. So this is why Umurola village is the least in all the villages in Umurola. Because they don't have any representative in the ruling class. There is no Umurola man among the king's elders in council. There is no Umurola man in the Zenozo group of Umebe. Even amongst the youths, there is no Umurola person amongst their ruling committee. Yes, you got it. So considering the fact that we have no personality in our committee because of the costs laid upon us by the abomination committed by our forefathers, we became outcasts. Hmm. That summarizes the story. Uh, forgive me, Ezedibia. Does it mean over the years no man has done anything as to try and appease the spirit of the man who placed the curse? They tried severally, and the only answers they could get was that the man will eventually forgive them someday. 
and they will start taking the titles again. Someday, this is all we've got. So we're going to sit down and do nothing until Sunday. So does does it mean there's nothing we can do? Nothing at all? You have one hack on a me. I may have a theory or two. Theory? Then offload it. Let's hear it. Is there any way you can lay your hand on any of the items used by the man when he was alive? I'm not sure. But if I'm required to get some, I, I will try. My pictures, drawings, anything he touched when he was alive. Of course, sir. Then, go to work. Go to work. So this is it. When we are taking down some of the old houses for the modern house, my grandfather insisted that we maintain some of the ancient houses for the sake of preserving history. So I did. I kept this one for storage. Um, I'm scared to ask, but when was the last time you opened this house? My uncle and I are still looking for anything that will connect us to the man who laid the curse. If we search here within C, we'll go to another place. Come with me. Then I heard a voice shouting, there must be cleansing in the land. Then I heard a voice shouting, there must be cleansing in the land. What a look on your faces! But it's obvious you come back with nothing. As a how did you know? I've searched everywhere, including going back to the ancient house where I kept as a store and found nothing. Thank you, yes, if you fair. Everywhere I found it, didn't I forget where I forget it, didn't I forget it? And I told you everything I draw. How can you find something? When you have decided to embark on such a, a secret journey with a woman. A woman! She's not just a woman, she's the woman of my life. She's the woman I love. Can't you quit the act of always confessing your love for the princess? At least not for now. But uncle, I love her. This is not the time. Because I am involved. And I believe that this curse can be lifted up our people. And we shall be free again. Uncle, I can't believe this. Why are you talking against me? What I see here is that Utana Zodil, Ebina Zosompi, Akihijua Bamachi Yon, Ubiago is not ready to solve this problem. Please. Hey! And I will advise him to go back and make up his mind. Go and think and make up your mind. But please, is more. I pray you, don't take it at heart. At least, if not for anything, for the innocent people of Umorola who are suffering for what they do not know about. Please. Ezemo, let me break it down for you. I am going to become an answer of Umebe. And if no one is willing to assist me, I am going to assist myself. Please don't be angry. I'm going to solve this problem. I promise you. Please. I'll talk to him. I know there is a move and what I will not do is to go against your move. I cannot interfere with the dictates of the gods. However you move, whenever and wherever, 
I stand by you. Uncle, for the last time, I do not know what you're talking about. Then you are a ritualist. Oh my God, where is this coming from? Where the hell do you get this from? I've never killed and I will never kill for money. Then what is this secret that is making you to lie through your teeth like an unfaithful woman to her lover? Listen, don't you try to play with my intelligence because I raised you and I know you well enough to tell when you are lying. Uncle, please, please leave me alone, please. Fine. I will leave you alone. Thank you. But I believe that the princess knows you well enough to have your secret. And I will just find out from her. She knows, right? How dare you, Uncle? Please. Leave the princess out of this. She doesn't know anything. She doesn't? The woman you claim to be your lover and you want to marry does not know your precious secret. Anyway, don't worry. I still need to talk to her. Uncle, I do not have any secret. I do not have anything to tell you. Then why are you stopping me? <sighs> Uncle, yes. I can't let you speak to the princess. You want to kill me? Ubiaku, do you want to kill me and protect your so-called secret? Uncle, it's okay. It's okay. I am going to tell you everything you want to know. I am tired of keeping all this secret. I am all ears. All of it! Split it up. Uncle, please, you need to sit down. Uncle, please, you have to sit down because what I'm about to tell you might knock you off your feet. So you need to sit. Why are you playing with your life? You still have the effrontery to come into my palace after I warned you the last time that I don't ever want to set my eyes on you again? Now get out of my palace. Both of you, get out! Considering the fact that I contributed 70% of the funds used in building this palace, I do not think you have the right to ask me to leave. I beg your pardon? Your Majesty, what is he saying? He is not saying anything. Because as far as I am concerned, men of Umarola have no voice. And I am asking you, both of you, to leave my palace this minute before I do something drastic. Leave! Your Majesty, could you please calm down? I did not bother calling your guards because they will not come. I beg your pardon? What do you mean by they are not coming? You see, we anticipated what could happen in this palace if we venture today. Then, I decided to come with my men. As you speak, Your Majesty, your men have been detained. And what exactly do you mean by my guards have been detained? Only temporarily, Your Highness, just to avert any kind of interference in this meeting. What? Come on, what do you mean by Your Majesty, for years now, you have been receiving anonymous donations, large sums of money, but for you and for Umuebe at large, from a faceless donor. The man in question has helped you out of so many problems. In fact, it could be said that he has been your guiding angel since you became king and he refused to reveal himself. Ironically, rumor has it that you wish to make him marry the princess when you find him. Him, and I have brought him to you. Mm. 
My goodness. Is it because of the curse? Are men of Umurola running mad because of the curse? Because I can't believe this. You see? If Obiago turns out to be my faceless donor, let me run mad. Raving mad. Oh, yes. If this man here turns out to be my faceless donor, I will give it to a roadside beggar and crown the person king in my place. I will do it. See, listen. If my guardian angel that I have been dealing with all this while turns out to be this man sitting here, I would not mind pulling my clothes and running around this kingdom naked. Your Majesty, I mean, as my friend, I will advise you to tune down the level of courses you are here. Oh, 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 please, please spare me that bullshit. Don't tell me that you of all people believe in the cock and bull story said by this cock and bull people. Ah. Uh, speak of the devil. Yes, my guardian angel is coming. <laughs> Hello, my guardian angel. Hello, your majesty. <laughs> now, what is the meaning of this silly joke? No, what is the meaning of this madness? What? What's the combat? Oh, <laughs> I told you. Come and see it yourself. Okay. It's from my guardian angel again. Awesome. 20 million. Can you can you see it? No, you, you, Obiago. Can you ever give 20 million naira to somebody in your life? Can you? Your Majesty, I just saw this young man trying to do something with his phone. And we know that. Oh, 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 don't even don't even go there. Who is it? No, who is this man? Your Majesty, look at it. What? <laughs> so it's it's you. Your Majesty Ashaba. It's a lie. He's the one that is going on. Tell him. Culture can change the way I love you. No tradition. You know, I, I requested for for the seed to be set here for four of us to to settle down and analyze what I just come up. Because I believe we needed to be somehow separated from the palace for us to talk like men, mature men. You know, I remember vividly when the queen was um, very sick. Cancer it was. And King here, my friend, needed to save his wife. And he spent a lot of money. And the Queen was still not saved. It went to the extent that uh, he started to raise money from the bank to save the woman. And he used the palace as collateral. Unfortunately, the Queen didn't make it. Not only did my friend become a widower, he became a very poor man, miserable poor man at that. I remember that story. The rumor around town had it that the king was going to lose the palace to the bank. But it was not just rumor. It was happening for him. Because at that point, the bank had actually left a quick notice at the gate of the palace instructing the occupants to leave that they want to start the process of getting their money back in fact the king was actually preparing to leave the facility when the first alert came 15 million naira to be precise from the anonymous donor who simply identified himself as anonymous son of the soil he was very emphatic that uh, the king should have to use the money to start paying back what he borrowed from the bank and equally to give the queen a befitting burial. <sighs> so you actually mean you were the person who sent that 50 million naira a lot? Yes, I am the one. 
I, I equally remember when the king himself became sick. The two kidneys were bad, they said. Yes. And uh, we needed a donor. You know the kind of country where we live? Mm. Nobody was willing to donate. We needed a donor. And there was no donor, even when we have people everywhere. So we came up with a strategy. We approached the hospital to tell them that the palace will pay 20 million naira to whosoever that will donate kidney. When we say this, we weren't sure where this money was going to come from. We just needed to save the king. Let me guess. He ended up getting the quick replacement without paying a dime. Exactly. And that was because as soon as that publication went on air, the hospital called us to say that uh, an anonymous donor has given them the 20 million naira to pay anybody who will donate a kidney for the king. And there were many people that were willing to donate kidney. And that was how the king was saved. And are you telling me also that you were that same person? In flesh and blood. I remember again when uh, when we needed money for community development, like uh, pipe bone water, you know, constructing a uh, culvert like accessible route to some of the remote villages in Umuebe. We needed money and uh, from nowhere, the same anonymous donor gave us money for that. You mean you, you actually the one that has done all these things for us in this kingdom? Your Majesty, I am the one. Okay. Okay, let me also remember when uh, the governor was to pay us a visit in this community and uh, we needed money to organize the wonderful reception for the governor and there was no money and the youth of Umwebe, to avoid shame decided to raise money in the youth platform the money they didn't even have exactly but they just needed to do something but before they could realize what was happening as soon as that notification was published on the platform. The same anonymous donor gave us 20 million naira for us to organize a reception for the governor. And an extra 30 million, which was used to offer the youths scholarship into the university. Ichi, I believe that your son is currently abroad, benefiting from that money. Well, I'm not going to deny that. You are right. Mm. If only he knew that uh, the, the man in question is a new moral man. Sure what? Sure what? Uh, um, <clears throat> Your Majesty, the rumor had it that you have been desperately searching for this anonymous donor with the hopes that when you find him, you will make the princess leave Obiago and marry him. Even though you have not met him, you don't know if he is an old man or not. Uncle, that's enough. That's enough. I believe the king recalls and accepts that Obiago, though a man of Fumanura, is indeed a son of the soil. This is all my fault. This is all happening because I have not found that particular young man that I have been searching for. If I had found him, the princess would have probably taken a liking to him by now. <sighs> this is one of the reasons I have been searching for him. Pardon me, Father, but... Um, you speak so highly of a man that you have not set your eyes on. You have never seen this man before, Father. What if he's an old man? 
What if it's some rickety old man sitting somewhere and communicating with you, Father? What if he's much older than you are? First of all, from his latest, I can tell you here and now that the person that I have been dealing with is not an old man. He is a young man. Secondly, isn't any rickety old man better an option than a man from Umurala village? What if he's a married man, Father? I am sure he's not. You speak of a man, Father, which you have never met before. And again, I will accept him any way he comes. It will be better than accepting any man from Umurala. Besides, what if your sister is in Umurala right now as we are talking? Oh well, we all know that she's there right now as we speak. Then I am pretty sure she is breaking things up with that young man. Dad. Why? Why, father? What will people say? What if the rumor spreads and everyone gets to hear about it? How would you make us look? Son, I am telling you that it is over. I think we should busy ourselves with putting a call through to our private investigator, asking him how far he has gone and finding a strange man. Because as far as I am concerned, that young man is your sister's husband. That is the only thing I can think to compensate him. I quite agree with you that you are indeed the son of the soil. And that is why you saved my life, my home, my throne and our kingdom. The question I ask is, what can I do to remedy the situation? Uh, Your Majesty, I am privileged to be amongst the few people who are benefiting from government policy on agriculture. I have worked so hard to be here and I'm impressed. And I ask again, what exactly can I do to pay you back? <laughs> Then I heard a voice shouting, Rebels be cleansing in the land. Are you breaking up with me? Hell no. God forbid. Where's that coming from? First, you told me you were going to see my father. Now you come home with this look on your face, telling me there's something you think I should know. I don't understand. What did my father tell you? See. See. There's a lot I need to tell you. I'm not going to leave you. But I'm afraid that you're going to leave me instead after hearing what I'm going to tell you and keeping it away from you all this while. Now you're beginning to scare me. If Obiago turns out to be my faceless donor, let me run mad. Raving mad, oh yes. If this man here turns out to be my faceless donor, 
I will give you to a roadside beggar and crown the person king in my place. I will do it. See, listen. If my guardian angel that I have been dealing with all this while turns out to be this man sitting here, I would not mind pulling my clothes and running around this kingdom naked. <laughs> You're not angry. Believe me, I am not. I should be, but I'm not. But I'm not happy you kept this away from me all this while. But I can imagine the, the expression on my father's face after you revealed everything to him. That overrides every anger. Hi, I wish I was there to see that priceless look on my father's face. should see your face. <coughs> <coughs> you need to see the look on your face that you should get a mirror. <laughs> oh my goodness. Why is it that nobody told me this was going down? That I would have loved, I would have given everything to be present, Dad. Goodness me. Uh -huh. How does it feel, Dad? Uh -huh. To know that the one that you call your guardian angel is the one man that you'd have given anything to kill. Hi. Irony of life. Uh, are you making mockery of me? Mm? No. Come on. <laughs> How can I make mockery of you? You've had enough disgrace for one day. <laughs> to love, to love Uh, you see, what you went through today will last you a lifetime. But I also think that it's it's a good lesson. That, that, that don't be looking at me like that. Now you're, that you're the one making me laugh. All right, listen. I'll just keep a straight face. <clears throat> this is actually very serious. Yeah, let's try. Let's keep a straight face. That. <laughs> you know, in my father's words, he said he will hand over his crown to a roadside beggar if he finds out that the anonymous donor turns out to be you. I hope he does it. <laughs> now my father finally understands what it means to eat his own words. <laughs> you know, he welcomed me and um, hugged me, then said thank you. I believe it is a sufficient way of eating his words. Who cares? I don't care. I don't give two hoots. All I know is my father now knows that the anonymous donor is you, my lovely <laughs> baby. <laughs> ah, Dad, ah, as a matter of fact, I think that you should get ready to, you know, dance around the entire kingdom naked, for that is what you said you would do, Dad. <laughs> It's fine, Dad. I'm not laughing. Uh. <laughs> All right. I have had enough of that. <laughs> uh. Dad, that does a part of me. That really wants to tell you. Sorry. But then I'm not sorry, Dad. I kept telling you to give this man a chance, but you didn't listen to me. So I'd like to know what the next step would be. Uh, Father, how are you going to tell the people of Umwebe Kingdom that the rejected stone is now the chief cornerstone? Now don't make that face now, you're going to make me laugh. Would have thought. Father, this is unbelievable. Like a real life fairy tale story with moral lessons. You can say that again. My goodness. Father, every single maiden in Umwebe owes the princess an apology. I mean, every single individual that has ever benefited from Obiago owes the princess a serious <laughs> apology. Do you know why I am smiling and happy? It is because 
for the very first time, my daughter and myself are on the same page. Yes, so oh, Father. Mm -hmm. Why will I not be on the same page with you? Meanwhile, what has the king decided? I mean, what decision has he taken as regards to the festival? The answer is very simple. The festival of maidens could still be led by the princess. So long as you can allow her to get married to Obiago, who will equally accept to take the other title. As simple as that. There's a Dibia. Do you realize this is a man of Umurola we are talking about here? Your Majesty, I know we are talking about a man of Umurola. And that is the reason I insist that he should take the other title. It seems we are forgetting something very vital here. Oh, Your Majesty, we are not forgetting anything at all. I know that tomorrow the people are cursed people. But Obiago, Obiago is a spitting image of that particular person that cursed them. Their looks and character, the same. And if you ask me, I will say that if I'm a ludicre, ha! If I'm a ludicre, if I'm a ludicre, if I melodicate, the very man that laid that curse upon them has come, has reincarnated the true Ubiago to amend things. How, how do you mean? I don't understand. This is a deep He has come to take us back to where it all started. So that the history can be rewritten. Is it Dibia? You are confusing me the more. Your Majesty, I am not confusing you. I am simply saying that if a melodica. Hey! If a melodica. If a melodica has reincarnated through Obiago. Try and get it. If a melodica. People tell the king, they must say, Boku Sinya Diko Piakona and then one. Muna bought all the kids one day one who bought it, my mom. Nakara Bani Sarah Bani, we can go be a canena or can get Balamo and Bobo Dicker. Family Dicker has reincarnated through Obiago to correct a whole lot of things. And don't forget, you've heard it. The time shall come when that same person that caused them will forgive his people. How would you know? When you don't allow the chance, how would you know? Let Obiago take this title and watch out. See how the gods will spell out the situation. And what if this is not the time? What if the dead man is still very angry? And what if Obiago dies in the process of wanting to take this title? These are many questions begging for answers. Can't you see? Your Majesty, don't get it wrong. Don't be faster than the gods. There is no guarantee of what should happen during the also time to take it. No guarantee. Whether he will die, whether he will live, there is no guarantee. The important thing is that Obiago should be allowed to take the also title, just like his ancestors did years ago. Which means there is every possibility that he may even die before he is declared an also. If I, if, if, if I allow him to do this, what would the people say? They will simply say that I am an ingrate because of the things he has done for me and for this kingdom at large. Have you not seen it from that angle? Then, have you heard about this? Your Majesty, the old has come to correct their own error. Matablu, leave it at that. 
I would do it. Sorry, what exactly do you mean? You heard me, Your Majesty. If that is all we take for me to become husband to the woman I love, I will do it. My son, I would have you know that this is not a game. There is no guarantee that you will not die on the day of coronation. I want you to think this through, please. Do you have any other solution? Not a one. Then taking the other title is what I would definitely do. You will do no such thing. Obiago, it will be over my dead body. Go. Mind the things you say. Obiago, are you insane? Have you completely gone out of your mind? How can you wake up one morning and decide to do something that will kill you? Tell me, how are you sure that taking that title will not end your life? Where is your guarantee? We are still under the course. My love, support me here. Support you? Look, you only get to be supported when you discuss this kind of a decision with your partner first before taking them. See, I'm only doing this. I know why you're doing this, Obim. But do you really need to meet a certain condition before being with me? Am I not with you already? Am I not already here? Obia. If you're desperate to legalize your union with her, why don't you just go to the court? If I may the very man that laid that cause upon them has come, has reincarnated the true Ubiago to amend things. How, how do you mean? I don't understand. It's the DBI. He has come to take us back to where it all started. So that the history can be rewritten. Is it Dibia? You are confusing me the more. Your Majesty, I am not confusing you. I am simply saying that if a Meludike. Hey! If a Meludike. If a Meludike has reincarnated through Obiago. Try and get it. If a melodica, people tell the kid, they must say, Boku, see your dico, Piacona, and then one of them. One of the kids, one that one who bought it, my mom, Nakarabani, Sarah Banini, we can go back and then I can get Balam on Boku dica. If a melodica has reincarnated through Obiago to correct a whole lot of things. And don't forget, you've heard it, that time shall come when that same person that caused them will forgive his people. How would you know? When you don't allow the chance, how would you know? Let Obiago take this title and watch out. See how the gods will spell out the situation. And what if this is not the time? What if the dead man is still very angry? And what if Obiago dies in the process of wanting to take this title? These are many questions begging for answers. Can't you see? Your Majesty, don't get it wrong. Don't be faster than the gods. There is no guarantee of what should happen during the also time to take. No guarantee. Whether he will die, whether he will live, there is no guarantee. The important thing is that Obiago should be allowed to take the also title. Just like his ancestors did years ago. Which means there is every possibility that he may even die before he is declared an also. If I, if, if, if I allow him to do this, what would the people say? They will simply say that I am an ingrate because of the things he has done for me and for this kingdom at large. Are you not seeing it from that angle? Then, have you heard about this? Nenye Judy Bionu, Ulisi Jebongra, Bonajo here. 
Your Majesty. The old has come to correct their own error. Matter Blue, leave it at that. I would do it. Sorry, what exactly do you mean? You heard me, Your Majesty. If that is all we take for me to become husband to the woman I love, I will do it. My son, I would have you know that this is not a game. There is no guarantee that you will not die on the day of coronation. I want you to think this through, please. Do you have any other solution? Not a one. Then taking the other title is what I will definitely do. You will do no such thing. Obiago, it will be over my dead body. Go. Mind the things you say. Obiago, are you insane? Have you completely gone out of your mind? How can you wake up one morning and decide to do something that will kill you. Tell me, how are you sure that taking that title will not end your life? Where is your guarantee? We are still under the course. My love, support me here. Support you? Look, you only get to be supported when you discuss this kind of a decision with your partner first before taking them. See, I'm only doing this. I know because... why you're doing this, Obim. But do you really need to meet a certain condition before being with me? Am I not with you already? Am I not already here? Obia. If you're desperate to legalize your union with her, why don't you just go to the court? Where is it written that a man has to be an also before he marries a wife? Get to the court and I will support you. There take a title that end your life, even the life of Umwebe and her king. What is wrong with you? Okay. No, no, I'm just... Uh... Ah! Obiago, what is it? Oh, my head. What is it? What's wrong with your head? What is it? What's now? He's the title. Uh, I said it. He is the title. Why would he agree to do this? Why would you agree to put your life in danger? It's okay. What's, what's going on? Where's my phone? Tobi, what is it? After everything he did for you, you had to pay him back by putting his life on the line. I think you're making a mistake here. But it's not exactly what you think. What exactly am I supposed to think? We all know you don't want Obiago to marry the princess. So why go ahead and ask him to give up his life for that purpose? What kind of a wicked man are you? No, can, can you please calm down and hear my own side of the story? Can you please calm down? Calm down? I will not calm down. I don't care about the fact that you are the king of Umwebe because I came here to warn you. If anything should happen to my nephew, if anything should happen to my nephew, can you listen to I hope this is your heart beating, isn't it? I will rip it off you and eat it. It's not a bluff, it's a promise. <laughs> Then I heard a voice shouting, there must be cleansing in the... Baby. Please, what is it? I said I am fine. What is, it? what is your problem? Why is it so hard for you to understand the fact that sometimes a woman needs to be left alone? What's so hard to understand? Uh, 
Because this is unlike you, baby. Why are you being so stupid right now? Just let me be. Let me be. Did I do something wrong? Who cares? You think I care? Let me be. Just live here. I'll li leave here, please. Just like that? Is it, I am telling you he was unconscious when I left him. He just grabbed his head, screamed, and passed out. We are all confused. I don't know why he would agree to something as taken also title. I don't know why. Take me to him. Take me to him. Okay, sir. You feel better now? Hmm? Yes, I'm fine. Why are you looking at me that way? I'm fine. What's going on? Uncle, I have no idea. One minute he's sick, the other minute he's well. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Obiago, are you alright? Very much. Son, tell me what exactly happened and how did it happen? SDB, I don't know exactly what happened, but all I know is that right now, I feel much stronger. I then have to go upstairs and get some rest. Yes, good. Then I heard a voice shouting, there must be cleansing in the bed. Ezedibia, I still don't understand. I saw him scream. I saw him fall. If I did not check to find out he had a pulse, I would have sworn that he was dead. I see. Ezedibia, I am confused. Help me. Don't be confused. Hey, why don't we have an eye on him? Why would it take time to find out what exactly happened? I will, Ezekibia. Trust me. I will. Uh, <clears throat> Thank you for coming, Ezekibia. This boy will not kill me. Amun. Ah. Then I heard a voice shouting, there must be cleansing in the land. Then I heard a voice shouting, there must be Yes. His uncle is still here. I'm sure he'll be in a better position to talk to him. All right, I'll talk to you later. What are you saying? Is he down again? Uncle is not down. But he has refused to go and see the doctor. I was even thinking you went to get the doctor. No, 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 no. I didn't go to call any doctor. Because some conditions are superior to medical science. Uncle, how do you mean? Oh, come on. You are a princess. You're supposed to know what I'm saying. I heard a voice shouting, there must be cleansing in the land. Then I heard a voice shouting, there must be cleansing in the land. Oh, there is my girl. 
It's so good to see you again. Come on, Daddy. Don't. Excuse me. I caused the day you became my father. Princess. Don't you ever call me that. I am not your princess. I am not your daughter and I refuse to be a member of this cursed family. Oh, princess, what has come over you? Why are you sounding like this? Why? Why? You put the life of the only man I've ever loved in danger. And you're asking me why I am sounding like this? How can one man be so heartless, corny and devious? Oh, come on, princess. It's not what you think. Listen to me. Why didn't you just tell him that that's what everything he has done for you, that he will not be my husband? Why set a dangerous trap for him? Why ask him to put his life in danger? Oh, come on, princess. I didn't do that. Stop so pretending as if you don't know what I'm talking about, father. You know what I'm talking about. Obiago has decided to take the Ozo title. Now he has fallen sick. What? If anything happens to him, if anything happens to the man I have ever loved, I will burn down this palace, starting with your throne. Excuse me. You may rock and so he's sick. Goodness me. What have I done? Then I heard a voice shouting, There must be cleansing in the land. Onyeze, I agree you are the king. And the political head of this kingdom. And what are you insinuating by that? That I am just a politician who is not relevant in the scheme of things? I have not said so, Onyeze. I am only saying that we need to define our boundaries so we can restrict ourselves to the end. I'm trying so hard to understand what you mean by that. Okay. You are the king, and that makes you the political head of this kingdom, Umwebe Kingdom. I am the SZDB of Umwebe Kingdom, and the spiritual head. And that is why I am the custodian of the seat of our progenitor. Unyeze. Allow me to do my job. You are the custodian of this office. The spiritual head of this kingdom as you claim. Why didn't you see that his desire to take an Ozo title as a man of Umurola will still lead us to the same sad end that we are used to already? No, if you cannot see all these little things, what is the point calling yourself a spiritual leader? What is the point? Oh, yes, sir. Be careful. Be very, very careful, Onyeze. Don't doubt the gods. Don't question the gods. Don't tempt the gods. Don't disobey me. Because it will backfire. You know what? Watch me. Your Majesty, this is a surprise. If anyone had told me that a day like this would come when your majesty, the king of Umebe, would step his feet in my house, I would laugh at the person and call the person a liar. Obiago, how are you doing today? I see you heard of my brief incident. That wasn't an incident. 
it was an attack on your health. Simply because you are a man of Umorola, who decided to take the assault title. So? So I want you to drop the quest for the title. And that is why I have come here to tell you that whether you are a titled man or not, I am giving you my blessings. Go ahead and marry my daughter. That will be a shame, Your Majesty. Not only on you, but on the woman I love. You've explained everything to me. And I'm going to take the title. Whether the gods of whom ever like it or not, whether the universe likes it or not. Tobiago, you'll doubt me when I say this. But from the very moment you revealed your true self to me, I have not been able to stop myself from liking you. I have not been able to stop myself from loving you as my own son. And which is why I am here to tell you and if you're still insisting or deciding to go ahead and take that title, I will do everything in my power to stop you. Wow. Wow. All this, simply because you don't want me to die? Not just that. But also the fact that if anything bad happens to you, my daughter will never forgive me. So, will you now listen to me and stop everything about this Ozo title? No tradition can change my love for you. Now tell me, why do you want to take the Ozo title? I feel I can afford it. I gathered that I must pay all the debts owed by existing members. And to the best of my knowledge, that runs into tens of millions of Naira. Money is not my problem. Hmm? I can afford it. I want to be an other. And what we know over time, considering where you're coming from, you may lose your life before you'll be declared and also men who are men are not afraid of death i want the title oh, hmm. you know i'm happy that we're like this again what do you mean you were acting strange yesterday <sighs> well i I wasn't acting strange. I was just in a very bad mood and I needed time to, 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 to just cool off. Very well. Those things happen. So what was the problem? Oh, that's none of your business. Excuse me? What did you say? Do you tell me about your feelings and mood every single minute of the day? Do you? No. So why am I expected to tell you why? Hmm. Ah. Again. This is not like you. Something is off with you, beauty. You know, I really wanted to spend the whole time with you today. But it seems nothing is working. Beauty. For you is very pure of the moon. I might not be perfect, but I love you. What is going on? Who did I marry? I might not be perfect, but I love you. Your Majesty, with all due respect, 
I am confused. Everybody is confused. That is why I summoned you here to give me a solution. What solution can I possibly give my king? When Akidi Yemokan, Yezidibia, the priest of Umuebe himself, has made an emphatic statement that Obiago is, uh, is qualified to go ahead and take the title. So the only solution is, is, is if, um, if Obiago himself will have a change of mind and say, I am no longer interested in the title. And you know that uh, he's not going to do that. If that happens to be the case, there is nothing anybody can do about it. And what if there is something we can do? Something like what, my king? You have been my friend for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And as a result, my children have always considered you to be their second father. Haven't they? Yeah, they have, my king, but I am trying to understand the connection with that to the issue under discussion. You need to do something for me. What, you know, what are we going to say? I mean, how are we going to present this to the princess? Don't worry. I, I know how to present it to her. You do? Yes. I'll try. I couldn't know what to say. All of us can help say something now. It's your only that I can speak. She's our leader. It's okay. I know what to say to her and how exactly to say it. Please make sure you make sense. Uh -huh. I'll try. You troublesome girls. What are you doing here? My princess. I'm asking again. I asked, what are you doing here? My princess, the truth is, you have every reason to be angry with us. We have no words to justify what we did to you. There is no excuse whatsoever. We, we shouldn't have done what we did to you. But then, we ignorantly did it. And we are truly sorry, my princess. Even though we don't deserve your forgiveness, we still dare to request that you please find a place in your heart to forgive us. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. From the depths of our hearts, Please. we are truly, truly Please. sorry. Please. Please forgive us. Please. I'm sorry. Please. Listen to me, my son. Your marital problems are the least of my concerns at the moment. I have more important things to worry about. Fathers. Please, you really would have to drop this attitude of yours. Listen, instead of disturbing my peace, you should rather be thinking of a way to help your sister out of an impending doom. What is wrong with you? What, what, what impending doom, Dad? What are you talking about? That, what is going on? What is going on? A pending doom. Have I gotten? So carried away by my own marital challenges that I have totally, totally
totally lost sight of my immediate family's challenges. Even the know of whom the kingdom has reached out to me, asking me for help. It means you are working. Please sustain what you are doing. I don't want them to reverse what I am enjoying. Your Majesty, I am. Um, I know you are expecting good news. But the issue here is that uh, it didn't work out. What do you mean it didn't work? Your Majesty, an opportunity for me to even make a request was not provided. Because the stupid native doctor that I visited, he, he didn't want to have anything to do with me or Umwebe in general. I don't understand. Does that mean that we've lost hope? Your Majesty, sincerely, I don't even know what to think now. You see, a sham that will make Obiago marry the princess immediately and forget about everything concerning taking the other title is indeed a very wonderful idea. But as you can see that it is not working out, I am thinking that now that our human effort has failed us, I am thinking that we should allow Shukuo Kikabiyama in his wisdom to handle this his own way. Amen. Back on Your Majesty, why are you leaving when we are still discussing? Oh yes, you really need to have a grip of yourself. Eh? Your princess. What is it? I'm sorry. What is it? You just that the cook has already prepared everything for you. So what? I ask you. So what? Listen, I do not care what the cook has prepared or what she has done. Do I look like a maid in this palace? Do I have to be in the kitchen before everything is done? Do I? But your husband... Your husband what? Listen, I don't care if he starves to death. I do not care. Do I look like those miserable ladies that spend all their time in the kitchen? Do I look like that? Now leave this place. Leave this place. Get out of this place if I decide to use your, your, your body for the many great ingredients in that kitchen. Drop it everywhere. Huh. I can't believe she, she, she... I can't believe she just forgave us just like that. I regret everything we did to her. Hey, what was I thinking? I mean, what were we thinking? We shouldn't have attacked her the way we did. More importantly, we should have understood that it's not her fault she fell in love with Obiabu. In life, we don't get to choose who we fall in love with. Exactly. It's not possible. Exactly. Eh? I mean, we all condemned her over something that was out of her own control. Something very natural. Love is a beautiful thing now. Eh? I thank God she forgave us. But still, I feel they need to do more, you know, to make up for what we did. Mm? All we need to do is just support her in every way we can. I'm really feeling this guilt in me. She's, she's a nice person. Oh, believe me. After discovering that Obiago is the king's anonymous donor, hey, the entire people of Umwebe are strongly behind the princess. Oh, oh. You see? You see what I'm talking about? 
So. You know, under normal circumstances, I should be chastising you for leaving this my house and paying a visit to Murola. But I'm not doing that. Because actually, I am very happy with what you just did. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Father. <laughs> you see, this is one of those things that you will do and I will begin to tell myself secretly that indeed, even when I may not say it openly, I will be telling myself that I am indeed very proud of my daughter. <laughs> Father, thank you. You know? I don't know what you're saying. No, but... no, no, but I'm just telling you the truth. Thank you, there Father. There are some men who will be looking at their children and they will not be so sure if they actually fathered those children. But I am different. Yeah. The each time I look at you, I know it in the deepest part of my heart that this indeed is my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Father. Thank you. I, I appreciate what you just did. Father, I feel good because you never say these words. You always shout. That is, why, that is why a strong man is a strong man. Always, <laughs> uh, when the time will come and he will say what he has not said. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Father. You're Thank welcome. you very You're much. Welcome. And by the way, we finally came to a decision. And what is the decision? That the princess is going to lead us in the festival rituals. Yes, father. That's good. And should I understand that to mean that equally you Yes, will... father. That whether she gets married to Obiago or not, she will always be one of our maidens, our leader, and our princess. Yes, father. I need to understand something. I, I need to, you know, hear it again. Okay. You are saying that it is going to happen. Whether she is married to Obiago or not. Whether she is married to Obiago or not. She remains our most treasured maiden, our princess, our leader, whether she is married to Obiago or not. Are you satisfied, Father? Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> because you, of this thing you just said now, I actually, I owe you one. You know what? Tell me. Something for you. Father! <laughs> Something for you. <laughs> I am telling you, and when I say something for you, it's actually something very nice. Father. I am proud of you, my dear. Thank you, Father. <laughs> but Father, you, you promised me money. And I just promised you that I would do something for you. Why are you not thinking that is something bigger than money? Well, Father, because you have promised me money before. So that is one promise. Okay. When you add that to this new promise, that makes it two. So you're going to give me money and that thing that is bigger than money. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Father. Well, for a start, can you just go to my room and bring me my whiskey? Yes, my Father. My gin, gin. Yes, I will do that. Anything for you. Kai, kai mo. I know, Father. Yo, Let me get it. Of the possible. <laughs> eh? Beautiful daughter of mine. I am very proud of you indeed. Eh, Isbada. In fact, the best. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, that is it. What do you think about that? It's okay. That's what you want. What is going on? What is this thing I hear about you wanting to kill yourself? Huh? If this is a way for you to discourage me, you better think well, bro. If you you startled us. What, I startled you? You want to begin to imagine how I felt when father told me about his intentions to take the other title? Have you gone insane? See, I... Um, you know what? I am not in the mood for this argument today. Okay? Oh, I see. You, 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 you are clearly not insane. I've just lost... <laughs> going to do now? I have no idea. No idea. 
a heart of gold shout. What was I thinking? What were we all thinking? We shouldn't have brought up this topic of an Ozo title. In fact, who invented the Ozo title in the first place? That person must be very crazy. Because he has killed all of us. He has succeeded in heaping hot coal over our heads. Your Majesty, we thought he gave us a good thing. But in reality, he has given us a great punishment. A very horrible, absolutely terrible... Your Majesty! Take me to him. Take me to him. Can someone begin to explain to me what exactly is going on here? We have absolutely no idea, Father. Doctor, I don't understand what you're saying. I was told that the lab will run extensive tests on my blood, my urine and saliva and everything. How come you're telling me that nothing is being found? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> that means I'm fine. It's okay. It's okay, doctor. I'll talk to you later. Thank you. is being found. Then why am I sick? The festival of maidens is in two days. Two days. I know. And that is exactly why I decided to take the title tomorrow. Are you doing this because of the princess? My son, I would have you know that the people of Umwebe have decided that the princess can conduct the ritual even though she's married or not. I know. But if I take the title and survive, that means the people of Umarola will no longer be seen as outcast and the princess will be free to conduct the festival without any label on her forehead and she should be accorded a high level of respect as Ozo's wife. And what if you don't survive it? Your Majesty, I am going to take the title whether you like it or not. You know I have the power to get the people of Umebe who will be glad to put the title on my head by the end of the day. Very well then. He will have the title. But no elaborate ceremony. Because I don't want the people of Umwebe, including my children, to stone me to death should anything happen to you. Deal. That is what I want. Yes? I beg your pardon. What do you mean by tomorrow? Hello? Hello? Obiago drop phone on me. Obiago drop call on me. Ha! Obiago is going to die. Obiago is going to die. It will be your fault. The fault of the king. The fault of Ife Melodike. The fault of whoever it is that invented the dangerous Ozo title. Ekweme. Ekweme. 
you disrespected the sacred abode of your ancestors by pointing your filthy finger at the chief priest. The SJDB of the kingdom, I of the gods, the mediator between the known and unknown, seen and unseen, how dare you, mere mortal? Hey, the fight, let me talk. Don't do that. Because if you do, you go home with a sizable whittle on that finger. Right here. I will point it again and again and again. All this is happening because of my so-called ancestors. I will shout and I will point the fingers again. If anything should happen to my nephew, it's a Dibia. If anything should happen to Opiago, I will... You will do what? You will do what? No. Oh, you empty material Amundenic skull. Amundenic skull like you. You do what? What do you want to do? What do you think you can do? Like I said, Except you want to return your home with a size of wheat on that finger right here. You disrespected the sacred abode of your ancestors. You come here to rant like a madman, to bark like a mad dog. Now leave this sacred obi this moment. Leave! Eze Dibia. Eze Dibia. Is it Dibia? My love, I don't like what you're doing. See, there is no guarantee that anything may happen if I should take the title. So why don't you relax? It's not about having faith. It's about what is being said. I don't want anything to happen to you. Oh, nothing is going to happen to me, my love. Listen, I am going to take the title and nothing will happen to me. Why are you so stubborn? My love, you're getting it all wrong. I am not stubborn. You may call me an extremist. If I decide on something, I must go to the end till I get it. I don't understand it. I need to understand it. What has come about Yago? Why is he so determined to do this tomorrow? Tomorrow? Tomorrow of all days. If it all goes seriously, you are disturbing my peace. Have you not been hearing me? Have you not been listening to all that I have been saying? That's the point. I have been listening to every single thing you've said. But your problem is making my own problem worse, if it all goes. What do you mean by what you have just said, Beauty? Beauty, do not! Don't you dare walk out! What is wrong with this woman? I ask again, who exactly have I married? Your Majesty, if Obiago wants to take the Ozo title tomorrow, by this time tomorrow, it's already an Ozo title holder. Just like that? 
Were you expecting me to disagree with you? I was expecting you to say that you needed more time to be fully prepared. I was expecting you to say you, you, we, we, we needed to take some precautionary measures for the safety of, of Obiago's life. I was expecting you hey, to put things with due respect, Your Majesty. You are the second person that has walked in here today to yell at me. And as a matter of fact, it is beginning to get on my nerves. If Obiago wants to take the other title tomorrow, he will take it. But, but are you not trying to see what I'm trying to explain to you? If that is not but. That is final. Even rock and the fool, or teach you, we were a no good and I'm a Jew, and I'm a Jew. Then I heard a voice shouting, there must be cleansing in the land. Then I heard a voice shouting, there must be cleansing in the land. Kiri kiri kana wupa zana diyelu mirame. For the last time, leave my way. Move me. Go ahead and move me. For you to leave this house today, you will have to move me. Yes. Uncle, whether you like it or not, I am going to take that title. Fine. Good. Move me. Uncle. Uncle. Yes. What is it? Did you hit yeah, him? Uncle, did you do anything to him? I did not touch him! Uh, Obiagu, what is he taking now? Uncle, are you sure you didn't hit him? Obiagu. 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 Come back here. Huh? Where are you going? Why do you know in Umwebe? Who do you know? in Umweme that you're going to visit. My parents, I said I am going out. I did not tell you where I am going to or who I am going to see in Umweme. So, why don't you just, just 
leave me alone and mind your own business. You are my business, beauty. We have an all-important ceremony today here in this palace that requires the presence of all intimate family members of this royal family. And you dare to step out? Intimate. That's the word. I am your wife. I am not your sister. Not your father. So please, would you just leave my way and let, let me just go? If please. you are my wife, what makes you a bona fide member of this family? Yes, hello. What? Again? When did this happen? Hmm? It's okay, thank you, thank you. Oh yes, he's down. Oh, that is it. This event is cancelled. This event is not cancelled. Did you not hear what my son just said? I heard what your son just said clearly. But I also know that Tobiago is quick to recover from this strange illness of his. So I say we wait. Wait for what? For him to come here to die? I doubt if that is the will of the gods. So, we wait. Are you not ashamed of yourself? You claimed on social media, on the news, that your hospital is the biggest in Nigeria, even in Africa, and you can't provide an air ambulance. Shame on you! I hope your hospital burns. I hope this country burns. I hope everybody burns. Obiago. Uncle, what are we going to do? I don't know. Obiago. Hey, what you mean? Obiago. Are you all right? Obi, are you okay? Yes. What is wrong, Obiago? I see it happened again. Help! Come here. Huh? I am very much alright. Like nothing happened. Yes, I'm strong now. Just like that. Uncle? Huh? We are running late. Let's go. Obiago. Go where? Are you out of your mind? Obim, what are you saying? Now nah, look at me. The things out of me now are fear and cowardice. If anything, or any spirit being wants me dead, they might as well take their last strike while I take the title. Obim. Are you coming with me or not? Are you? A princess, eh, but I'm getting... Oh, my love for you is very pure of I might not be perfect, but I love you. No! We have come to 
the climax of a very rigorous process. I have made inquiries from all the laws of Ugiri in Umwebe. And the girls have confirmed that the residents of Obiago has flushed the cause place on them. A cause placed by one of them. In anger, in frustration, in bitterness. As I initiate him into the other hood. May the cause be lifted forever. Ezamo, Akedia Maokani, you are the man of the gods, and I hold you in higher esteem. I know you cannot deceive us. I thank you so much, Ekwemi, for that compliment. But I'm wondering, where is this compliment coming from? The king has already ruled that the initiation takes place privately. And that is why we are not involving anything but music, any other thing that go with other initiation. For now, it's not needed. That is where I'm coming from. If this initiation is going to kill him, please let it be stopped. We don't want to lose him. Ezemo, he fainted again today. He finally woke up and insisted he must come for the initiation. I am here and ready, very ready for the initiation. If both of you are not going to stay and witness it, please go home and wait for me. Are you sure you will be alive to come home in one piece? And I'm beginning to feel that both of you are resisting the gods. Both of you are resisting the gods. How? We don't want to lose him. Don't want to lose him. Yes. His resilience has wiped off a lot of curses and has opened a very new page. A new page in Umwebe. So he must be initiated today. Having fulfilled all the requirements, I, in my position as Ezamo of Umebe Kingdom, signing before the seat of our progenitor, thereby declare you full fledged Ozo title holder. I've done it. I can see it. I demand an explanation as to what happened. And I expect you to start talking now. And I will advise you to be calm, my king. Be calm. So people will not understand our king as waging war against the gods of Umwebe. What exactly do you mean by that? I was the one that approved for him to be given the title. He finally got declared as an ozo. 
and now all he could do is to transfer the cost upon my daughter? Why would he do a thing like that? Why? Your Majesty, I know you want to get him arrested. But don't do that. I can't. Don't do that. I advise you, don't. Because if you do, the forces that watch over Ozo title will come for you. What am I supposed to do now? My princess is lying lifeless at the palace right now as we speak. Doing nothing is not an option, and you know it. And I might interest you to know that the princess has gone in to commune with the departed souls of Umada in preparations for the festival. So, do not panic. Is it Dibia? Do you mean to say that the gods were behind what happened to the princess today? Are you trying to say that the princess will be okay before the prayers? Is that what you're trying to say? Things will unfold in accordance with the dictates of the gods at the right time. Be calm and let's look forward. But father, this happened in the morning. There is still time. Push your night, it's already 6 p.m. Check the time. Even then, Father, she will wake up. I mean, she has to. Tomorrow is the Festival of Maidens. What she if she doesn't? Uh -huh. This is why we are having this discussion. What if she doesn't wake up? No, Father, I... I, I don't... Father, I don't even know what you want me to say or do, but... Uh, I the Prince has a wife. All of you maidens, you have to pass whatever thing that you are facing now. Settle for her. That is not a good idea, if you ask me. What do you mean? Your sister is sick. We have no idea what is wrong with her. There is no guarantee that she will be well by tomorrow. Unless you have a better idea, I think we are sticking with the choice of your wife. Dad, what I'm saying is that things uh, between my wife and I uh, haven't been, you know, good for some time. And I doubt if she would be enthusiastic or even interested in, you know, performing the festival ritual. But I, um... I'm very much interested. Greetings, Your Majesty. Thank you. Very much interested in what? In performing the festival rituals, Your Majesty. And I just got back home. Uh, I've seen everything that has happened to the princess. I, I, I couldn't just help it but to feel pity for her, Your Majesty. So if performing the festival is there's a way to help. Why not? I am willing. To you, my love. You know, I've just been thinking everything that's been happening between us and uh, I just want to say I'm sorry. Please let bygones be bygones. Just like that. I said I'm sorry. Please. Well, a good actor will always know when is the best time to make a solitary exit. If you will excuse me. Thank you, my love. So, am I forgiven? Before we begin, I would like 
to welcome the select medals of Umoro. Initially, you were not supposed to be part of this festival because of a curse that ostracized you from other villages. But now that everything is over, I am so glad to welcome you in our midst. Thank you. Are, are the maidens in the house? Yes. <laughs> None. So I would like to remind us that we need a prayer, a serious prayer, for the speedy recovery of our beloved princess. But again, I would like to also call upon the person that decided to save this day on our behalf. Here is your task. Listen. You pick that that is floating on top of that water, scoop some water, lift it up, pray for the princess, and pour the water in there. Young woman, why are the gods rejecting you? You are not talking. Because I, I, I don't know. I, I don't. You don't know? Really? God, repeat what you've done. Pick this, scoop some water, pray for the princess, and pour the water there. you for the very last time. Why are the gods rejecting you? Because I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Oh. You don't know. Okay. Once again, scoop water from here, lift it up, pray for the princess and pour the water in there. Now we get it. Give me one hit. Hot. What is going on? Huh? Can someone please tell me what is going on here? It all started. What? You called me on the phone for that matter. This doesn't happen except on a special occasion. The people of Umebe Kingdom 
are about to celebrate their festival of maidens. And it appears that everything has been sabotaged as their princess has fallen in love with an outcast. Oh, I see. According to their custom and tradition, the king will have to appoint another maiden that will oversee the festival of the maidens. And that maiden is you. Me? <laughs> How is that possible? Because I am not even from Omoebe. I know. Once you become a wife, a wife to the prince, that will automatically make you a maiden of Omoebe kingdom. How is that possible? A love charm may not work on the maidens of Umebe Kingdom, but I don't think that that is the same with their men. Oh, wait. Are you, are you saying I am going to use a love charm on the prince? No, I mean, yes. You are going to use a love charm on him, but not the kind of love charm I make and give to people. Well, let me get something. If you are not going to give me a love charm that I will use on the prince, what love charm am I supposed to use on him then? You. Me? In as much as I can produce a powerful love charm in Ibu land, I am also aware that there is no love charm that is as powerful as the sexual progress of a beautiful betting. That, my dear, that is what you're going to use on the prince. You will go to him. You will do everything possible to make him notice you. As soon as he does, you are going to make him see you as his wife. And that is where your mission begins. Oh, okay. And after that? And after that, beauty, the king will be compelled to choose you as a nice maiden who is qualified to handle the rituals of the maidens. Wait, I thought that the whole thing is just to get the prince to marry me. I thought that's just the whole mission. Over the years, I've been able to produce a love Cham, that is very powerful in Olunibo. I have applied it on every kingdom successfully, but I have not been able to successfully apply it on the maidens of Umebe kingdom. They say that the festival of the maidens is the cause. I want you to go to Umebe Kingdom and sabotage that festival of maidens for me. Just set your eyes on the prince. And that is where my work comes in. I will handle everything from my little kingdom. Beauty, when you do this for me, I am going to give you the kingdom of Umebe. 
You are going to rule over their kings and queens. The kings, the young, the aged will be under your control. You will rule the people of Umebe kingdom. How? Why is it that she is not even saying a single word? <laughs> She's going to die here and we will not even know the reason. Listen, Dibia, this is not normal. Do something, is it, Dibia? The last time we talked, I warned you and I told you I will only spare your life on one condition. That condition is for you to stay clear. Stay away from my kingdom. Stay away from my kingdom. Now, what changed? <laughs> What's changed? Does it mean you no longer love yourself? You no longer like to live? You no longer like to have a long life? What is the problem with you? It's a pity. It's a pity! The fact that you think that you can walk all over me like you did before. The fact that you think that you are stronger than myself is a laughable pity. It's a deep year of maybe kingdom. <laughs> Of course, it is a lovable pity. Everything you've been displaying here, <laughs> jogging, jumping like a little rat, is a lovable pity indeed. Oh, yes! I told you. Why is that the job for Sisha Potaka? What? So, how. Say this is a little mission. Little mission, you say? Ah, yeah. Before you start talking, I would like to make something. Mm. <laughs> nice one. Look at me, Shivren. Look at me, Shivren. I have not finished. What's that? I'm not done. No! How dare you! No! I'm sorry. I'm 
so sorry. Please, I beg you. Just, just take me out of this place. I beg you, take me. Just take me out of this place. I beg you. Just take me out. Please. I can even learn. What is the difference between a man ministering from the ancestral stone? Would you fall off his fathers? And a mere man. Who does talisman, chimes, and lyrics? Little, little things for me. How do you mean? I have come to let you know. That I am aware you sent that maiden to catch the prince. You equipped her just to destroy the prince. To catch the prince. In the speed of light. What do you stand to gain? What do you stand to gain, Wanza? I am a man who succeeded in manipulating not just only the prince, but the entire Umebe kingdom. Should I not be respected? Should you not respect me for that? Akede, should you not respect me for that? Everything is falling apart. The king will have no choice than to accept Opiako as his son-in-law. Which means the princess will still go on with the festival rituals. I ask, what am I still doing in the palace? I saw everything here. You don't need to repeat the event. But I insist you stay. Why? Why would I stay? If I didn't know you very well, I'm beginning to think that you're beginning to fall in love with the prince. I have not fallen in love with anybody. Just, I'm just, I'm just tired of this fake life. I just, I just want to leave the palace. I am tired. A little more patient, more patient, beauty. More patient. If you do not do something, I will make sure I do everything to make the prince hate me. I will frustrate this marriage. I, I, I just want to leave here. You just need to, you need to leave me. Take me out of the palace. I am tired. I am tired. Take me out! Mm. Your king refused to play my game. Your king refused to play my game. He refused the prince to marry the maiden I sent to that godforsaken palace. And I dealt with him. I flogged him from here. Your yeah, Majesty, what is it? What, what, what was it? Someone slapped me. Where? Did you see what was? How? I, I, I think it's a ghost. Ah! It goes weird. Ah! What's the problem? Why are you scaring me? I am aware of all those. I am aware. I know of that invent. But I ask you, you flogging the king metaphysically. What's that? What do you stand to gain? What is your gain? The cause. On Umrola has always been my gain. The cause on Umrola has always been my gain. But you stupid men of Umeba Kingdom are planning to retrieve that cause. And that is not good for me. You are too small. How dare you? 
What little thing? Now listen. No, 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 stay quiet. For your own good, make one more effort with a dead man. Hey! You are a dead man. If you try and try to put it in, you're just too smart for me. The ghosts. The ghosts are behind this, solidly behind this, to hear the land. One more effort for a finished human being. You little human being of a little fit. Hey, don't try any funny thing. Listen, you, man, talisman, charms, mullet, vanity, whatever of a very low level in the darkened world. But I am a man of the gods. Don't dare me! Don't dare Umwebe! Don't dare the gods! Little rat! The festival of the marriage can never, never be cancelled. What it means is that we must celebrate it today. That we must do. But I will request to be given some time so I can settle this little misunderstanding. <laughs> Is a divia. What is the meaning of this? Iberian no kalian wusi. Malanke pelim penyelim pake. No bole. Your Majesty, what it means is that we have a lot to discuss about. A lot. <laughs> Why? You do why? I can't believe this. Why? Why? Why did it have to be me? Why? I'm so sorry, my prince. And all this time, I thought that I had found love. I thought that I had found the love of my life. I was happy with you. Between you and I, and I was ready to settle down and start my own family. And you do this to me? Prince, I'm sorry. I, I am so sorry, please. Forgive me. Please. Was any of this real at all? Is that a part of this that was Or was it all of us? Beauty. My parents, it's impossible to deceive someone into giving you your heart without losing a part of yours. Please, I beg you. I am sorry. Forgive me, please. Gods. My king, my prince. Throw this woman out of my house. Please, I, I no, sure, my, my prince, no, my, no, no, don't, my prince, ah, my prince, my prince, my prince. 
and to think that all this while we've believed that people of Umurala were outcasts. My daughter was constantly harassed for nothing. Your Majesty, you are not going to blame yourself. If only there was a sign. There was none. I believe it is time for me to put an end to this madness. Your Majesty, how, how, how do you mean? Onyeze, are you going to tell me what you plan to do? Father, as you are aware, Obiago has been confirmed as the first son of Omorola to be bestowed with a very prestigious title of also of Omwebe in a very long time, Father. The Zedibia here is present to confirm this as an act of the gods. Exactly. I am in a position to confirm that the gods allow it to be this way for a reason. And what do you think is the reason? Healing in the land. It is obvious we have aged for so many years in the past. And the gods on their own decided to correct us. And on the strength of that, Father, is there anything that would not allow you to give your blessings so that your daughter can marry the man that she truly loves? Then who is that man? Who oh, yeah. The one that we all thought to be an Uso. The one that you constantly fought. The other you fought for, Father the more you were halted. And now we can see that all these things were engineered by the gods. I ask you now that now that our human strength has failed us, are you going to please allow the gods have their way? Princess, Father, are you sure this man loves you enough to make you his wife? Yes, Father. He loves me dearly, and I love him too. If you can approve of us, tomorrow he will come and get married to me. If that be the case, who am I? I approve of this union. <sighs> Father, thank you. Thank you. And I see you. That declaration was the offer of the kingdom. Yes. The prayers of the maidens can hold tomorrow. We pray for the protection of our surroundings, our bodies, and most importantly, our hearts. May we never experience the pain that comes from loving the wrong kind of man. Adam ne bako ne bele. Adam. We pray for strength. Strength of the heart, of the spirit, and most importantly of our bodies. May we always, 
always be able to fight to protect our dignity, even when it is won against a thousand men. We pray for hope for our children, born and unborn. May we never find ourselves in a position where we feel we have made mistakes in raising our children. We pray for fertility. May we never have to share the kind of tears that come from barren women. When the time is right, may we be surrounded by the happy cries of our children. Adding to that, we pray for safety and smooth childbirth. May we never experience any form of complications that comes from childbirth. And may we live long enough to see the growth of our children and live long enough to carry our third generation. We pray for good judgment and character. May we always remember that those qualities are more valuable to a woman than any amount of money or power. for women that to think like men and act like ladies. We pray that our young girls will grow to be like them. We all look at other societies that their girls, their women who all want to emulate ours. They want to be like our maidens. There's something unique about you. Something I've never seen in any other. Your resilience is second to none. Thank you for standing by me all through. I should be the one thanking you for marrying me finally. <laughs> and my honor, I promise to always love you. Oh, I love you, baby. Thank you. Na banyo na love is ikiki. Mu ila punikyo oh ya fya palo.
Can change my love for you. No culture can change the way I love you. No culture can change the way I love you. No culture can change the way I love you. No culture can change the way I love you. No culture can change the way I love you. No culture can change the way I love you. No culture can change the way I love you. No culture can change the way I love you. No culture can